Game four of the World Series, and the Giants' season is on the line. Down two games to one and trailing three nothing in game four, it was time to rally or else. Ground ball, big set. Here comes Snow. The throw by Erstad. Giants lead. So now the series is all even again with game five coming up. Live from Fox 11 News. This is the World Series countdown to Game 5. The scene, Pac Bell Park. The situation, Anaheim Angels two games, San Francisco Giants two games. At stake, Game 5 of the World Series. The winner tonight is one step closer from getting fitted for a championship ring. And uh, now we know this series will be decided here in Southern California. The Angels will either win it or lose it at home. The question tonight is do they leave San Francisco one game away from the championship or with their backs up against the wall? Jennifer Gould is live at Pac Bell Park with a preview of tonight's game. Jennifer? Hi, Rick. Yeah, you can definitely feel the tension in the air along with the chilly weather. And if you look around the stadium again, you can see a lot of people already filling the stands for the game that's about an hour from now. The temperature this evening, 58 balmy degrees again, but the Angels saying the entire time that the weather has not played a factor in this game for them so far, despite the difference in weather between Northern and Southern California. They say the factor of this game, what's most important is short swings and connecting with the ball. And they also say tonight's game is going to be definitely a real battle. Yeah, uh, every game in, in the World Series is a dogfight. This is a great team we're playing. Um, it's going to be a, a dogfight tonight. And we're going to just uh, go in and approach it the same way we approached every game this year and, and uh, stick to our game plan. Uh, have the same at bat, at bats we've had uh, all year long and, and try to get as many guys on and put as much pressure on the pitcher as we can. You want to be in this position. You know, you got multi number ones going. And, uh, it's going to be a duel. It'll be fun. It went from a seven game best of seven to, to now it's like three game series. Yeah, you play, you know, 100 and. 70 some 80 games to this point and it comes down to you know best out of three series so um, it's going to be exciting and it's what we all want. We knew coming in the Giants are a great ball club and last night was another great game. Unfortunately for us they were able to win but you know like you said it comes down to a three game series whoever's the best is going to get it done. So is it the defense or the offense tonight? Um, hopefully a little bit of both. We go out there and play solid defense and we and Wash gives a good performance and come up with clutch hitting it should be a good thing. And Angel fans here at Pac Bell as well. If you look behind a home plate right there, it's a little difficult to see, but just look for the red. There's the Angel support. Some of them also did bring those Anaheim favorites, the Thundersticks, and we've definitely seen some rally monkeys here tonight. Of course, everyone's going to be rallying behind the Angels this evening. This is a crucial game. This is game five, uh, the last game of the series here in Pac Bell before the team finally gets to head home for game six on Saturday. But again, the game one hour from now, and the players saying yesterday was yesterday. Tonight, they're just concentrating on chalking up this wing and then bringing it home. Reporting live in Pac Bell, I'm Jennifer Gould, sending it back to you right now in the studio. All right, thank you, Jennifer. Uh, I'm hearing something about some monkey backlash. Ed Delascos is up in San Francisco, and he has more. Ed? You're right about that, Rick. The monkey might be the endangered species around here as far as the Giants and their fans are concerned. It really changed. You know, the sun. Talk about a change coming through now after a cloudy last couple of days. Still chilly, though. It's uh, 57 street side here as we move uh, closer to game time. But that win last night, the first ever for the Giants here in a new park, World Series-wise, Packville, has really lit them on fire. They're going after the fans. They're going after the monkeys. It's been crazy through here. Give you a quick look at the headlines. Uh, they got a chance to have some fun with it. Enchanted evening. The series all tied up. And, of course, enchanted whenever you knock the angels off of cloud nine. But the excitement is already here right through the city. Both fans going at each other as game five is on. There's a new bounce in their step right through the city. Giants fans How after their first today? home series win. Yeah, kill the monkey, yeah! And the rally monkey is now their prime target. Put on the ground, man. Put him on the ground. Right, let's go, Giants! Monkeys on ropes. Everywhere you see Giants fans, you'll find the monkey hanging down. I heard them, you know, they're tearing them apart. They're hanging them by ropes. Um, they said they're drowning them in big buckets of water and stuff. Nah. But Angel fans fight back. They have their monkey. Here's your monkey. And see all these people? Monkey envy. 
there's like an aura of envy around these people. It's, I don't know what to say, it's just, it's sad. Jealousy is really sad. And inside Pac Bell, Angel fans get here early to cheer on their team, but look what they run into, a wall of resistance. Giants fans, especially if you're all the way up top in the nosebleed seats. Yeah, they're just being mean. I mean, it's uh, killing the rally monkey. Uh, we were walking by and some fan threw a soda at us, right? We didn't get a lot of it, but we still got some on our clothes. Nothing you can do. I mean, they've thrown some peanuts and stuff like that, but they haven't gotten too rowdy. I haven't gotten loud either because I know if I get loud, I'm going to get some beer thrown on me. And as the pregame countdown goes on, Giants fans have their own. The Good luck, John. I'm principal alone. I, I wouldn't sell any angel stuff just because... I couldn't, I couldn't take us not winning the World Series. We're not taking any chances. The monkey's dead. No more monkey. No more monkey. Kill that monkey. Let's go, Giants. Woo! Whew, whew. How'd you like to sit next to those guys? Now back live, Pac Bell. Angel fans are arriving. Couple right here. You're not ashamed. Look at you've got the jerseys on and the hair too. And the hair. We're here supporting the Angels up in San Francisco. Game five. We'll be back for game six, unfortunately. But you bet we're going home. But I got to ask you. A lot of fans, a lot of Angel fans, saying they had a rough night last night, getting hit around, things thrown on them. Yeah, I didn't have any problem with beer or penis on us. A lot of verbal abuse, but that's okay. We can handle the verbal abuse. We, we're right. ready for them. And a lot of things of people doing bad things with monkeys. You've got yeah. your rally monkey. Got the rally monkey. Are you excited? Yeah, very excited. I'm not happy with the monkey, but the monkey's here to stay. The and rally monkey. And a championship in a couple of days. All righty, guys. Enjoy the game. Be safe. We're going to send it back down. South Ricketts. All right, Ed. Seems like a lot of people are making a lot of money on souvenir sales. Those the yeah, yeah the, they are. Those, yeah, they that's, are. That's the job to have. You know, last night for a fleeting moment, it seemed the Angels were on their way to going up three games to one. But this is baseball, and sometimes the ball has a mind of its own. Early, well, Anaheim seemed to be touched by an angel. Twice with runners in scoring position, the Halos intentionally walked Barry Bonds to get to Benito Santiago. And twice, Santiago bounced into inning-ending double plays. This one in the third with the Angels up 3-0. But the game turned on the Halos in the fifth. Kirk Reeder bounces one out in front of the plate. John Lackey can't make the play. Infield hit. You know, that's baseball. Kenny Lofton followed with a bunt down the third baseline. Foul. Fair. Foul. Troy Gloss picks up the ball. Fair ball, the call from the umpire. It's called baseball. Both would later score, bringing up Barry Bonds. And again, the Angels walk Barry to get to Santiago. Get him once, twice, but not three times. This time, Santiago laces a single up the middle. Aurelia around the score from second. 3-3 tie ball game. Well, that's baseball. On to the eighth and the key play of the game. Francisco Rodriguez in relief. J.T. Snow on first. Benji Molina can't handle the pitch. Snow advances to second. The catcher didn't catch the ball, you know, and ended up costing the game. It's nothing much, uh, Frankie. If I catch the ball, maybe, maybe he doesn't score. But score, Snow did. With one out, David Bell laces a single to center off Rodriguez. Snow around third. Here comes the throw, not in time. The Giants get the breaks in game four and win four to three. This, this team's been through too much. They're not going to go out there and start panicking or pressing. We're upstairs there. Please don't uh, stand too far. Do no, me a favor. Don't try not don't to stand No, seriously. This is my uh, area now. You know here. what? The unofficial meteorologist for the World Series, Mark Thompson. Why is it unofficial uh, still? It's still not official? I, because we couldn't get anybody to hire you. <laughs> so you're unofficial. <laughs> okay. uh, you're telling uh, me something about it being wet out at uh, Pac Bell Park. Actually, yes. And can I just tell you a little personal fact? Yes. The Dodgers call me when it's a close. Yeah, they they I know call that. me all the time. So it's that. not like it's just, you know. No, no, I'm not making this All right. So just please watch it with the put downs. There is rain just offshore of San Francisco. In fact, if you'll step back yeah. there, little sports boy. I've always wanted you can, to do this. Now, this is the 24-hour loop, and you can see the approaching weather front. And right here, right here, you can point if you'd like, Rick. Can I? That, uh, I, just as you point, you, you're cursed. Uh, there is shower activity just offshore. It's, I think, just going to be uh -oh, Virga, which is rain that doesn't hit the ground. Oh. No real rain moving into the area till after the game, I would think. Thank Still, goodness. Slight chance of light rain. Readings 58 now and 56 by the end of the game. That five-day outlook tees you with that. We'll have that for you at 10 o'clock tonight. See you. Back to you, Ray. Boys, boys. Quite an play, act. Play nice. Take that on the road as soon as possible. <laughs> Stay with us. Uh, there's still more of Fox 11's countdown of the World Series. That's coming up. I'm Al Nipo out at Edison Field with the Angels fans who are praying for World Series tickets. And they may be here for a long time. We'll be here waiting with them. A live report coming up. I'm Jacob and Victor and Anaheim. Your fans are anxious and excited. And they are ready for game five. A live report.
Just how loud are those Angel fans? We'll put them to the decibel test. Sorry, I got that receipt in here somewhere. Driver's license, bus transfer, dollar off fish sticks. Actually? Floss. <laughs> Just in case. Um, movie stub, mint. Actually, we keep everything right here. Just in case. Right. Just in case. People lose stuff. That's why we can store purchase and warranty information automatically, so you won't have to search anymore. Circuit City, we're with you. Floss. <laughs> Who flosses anyway? I floss. I floss too. The power of GMC. Nothing from nothing beats the band. Nothing beats the power of zero down payment. Zero payments till January 2003 and 0% financing on every new GMC. Nothing from nothing means nothing. You gotta have something. Get any new GMC with zero down payment. Zero payments till January 2003 and 0% financing. See the pros at your Southern California GMC truck dealers before it all ends October 31st. Every 30 minutes, there is a trauma emergency in L.A. County. This is L.A. Rescue 66. We're en route with a seven-year-old male with trauma. Our ETA is five minutes. In 1985, we had 22 trauma hospitals. Today, there are only 13, and more are closing. Hold 66. Hospital is close to trauma. Closest is Memorial. It's too far. Measure B will keep our trauma hospitals open. Vote yes on Measure B. Welcome to Cat Chat. Today, we're having a tea party. My date is Sebastian. Isn't he handsome? This is Princess Mocha. She's a Pisces. She's engaged to Grumpus Von Puffybottom. Okay, guys, this is how it's going down. I'm introducing these new taquitos. Rolled, seasoned, shredded beef topped with real cheddar cheese. Try them, or I'm gonna run Cat Chat on every game this season. English muffin, m'lady. Why, thank you, sir. See you at the drive-thru. Game five just minutes away now, but folks in Anaheim are already thinking about game six and game seven. And Al Naipo is live at Edison Field where the fans are lining up for tickets for this weekend's games. How's it going there, Al? Well, I tell you, uh, folks here are growing a little bit antsy. They've been sitting out here, some of them, since uh, 11 o'clock last night when they knew that the series would be returning to Anaheim, hoping, hoping and praying that there would be some tickets. Let's check it out. Here's the line. As I said, the line started forming around 11 o'clock uh, last night. People started lining up. They're waiting in line here, hoping, praying, waiting to see if there are going to be some tickets that are going to be released. There's no guarantee from the box office that there are any tickets. As a matter of fact, the signs are still up there saying World Series tickets sold out. However, these folks are still in line. They still want to stand in line and hope that they're going to get some tickets. And, and I'm just going to ask a couple of these people. Let me just grab this sir right here. And, and that is, here, here's people who have been standing in line. Now, no guarantee of tickets, but you're here. Why? Yeah, we've been here since 1.30, and they haven't released anything at all at this moment. Now, are you going to camp out overnight? Yeah, we're going to stay here. We're going to get a hotel right here down the street on Anaheim. Margarita's and you okay. realize that you could come away empty, but you're still going to no stay. No guarantee of tickets. Hey, we're going to keep on trying and trying on This is night. for Gino. <laughs> this is for the cowboy. All right. all right. As we said, a lot of folks out here, we'll, we'll chat with a couple of them here. Just hoping they'll get some tickets. As I said, uh, the store's been open. People have been going there trying to buy some more souvenirs. A lot of these folks have been out here actually since the start of the World Series hoping to get a ticket. Score one, no good. But they said we're going to keep trying if we got to come all the way to Sunday if the series goes to uh, the seven games. Let me grab another one here. Right here, right here. So why, why, do you, why do you feel you need to stand out here this long? We need the tickets. They're going to release them for us. You're hopeful. True fans. You, you know there's no guarantee. We're going to tell the We're not leaving. You're staying. We're staying You're until we get our tickets. Staying put. And, and, and that's pretty much the, the sentiment here is that they're not going to be driven away unless they know for sure that there are no World Series tickets. So they're staying. we got a couple hundred right now, and more people are coming in as we speak. Reporting live from Anaheim, Anaheim Edison Field, I'm Al Nipo, Fox 11 News. All right, Al, if there any, please get me some while you're out there. Thanks. We'll see you. Angels fans will get at least one more chance to root for their team at Edison Field during this World Series. Not that they haven't already given us an earful. Jane Yamamoto shows us that when it comes to cheering for the home team, few do it better or louder than those ear-shattering Angels fans. Screaming fans inside Edison Field. It's deafening. 
more than 45,000 baseball fanatics packed in the stadium. So just how loud is it? What do you say? I can't how loud? hear you. I can't hear you. What are you saying? It's are out of control. You can't hear anything. Oh, no, no. It's louder than the pod oh. was for you two. That's all I got to say. At least like 2,500 gigawatts. Self bomber, blue pass, way louder. Okay, so we want to find out just how loud it really is inside here. This is a decibel meter. It measures sounds in decibels, not gigawatts. And we're going to put these fans to the test. But first, a rock concert. Pretty loud, right? It comes in at 120 decibels. Then there's the self bomber. It clocks 126 decibels. Complimentary world. Then there's this guy. He comes in at 108. Now comes the big test. When they get all fired up, the reading on the meter, 110. Okay, not quite a stealth bomber, but don't tell them. In Edison Field, Jane Yamamoto, Fox 11 News. Two stars of the series, one prep school. Pride runs high at the Southland School where key players for the Giants and the Angels were once teammates. I'm Jane Yamamoto at the Arrowhead Pond. I'll tell you why the fans are gathered out here tonight to watch the Angels play a live report coming up. I remember walking away from the car feeling we could have died. The car actually went end over end, finally stopping on its top. You feel the car being thrown around and you just wait for that final moment. The police officer said to me, this car saved your life. I said, I know it did. Volvo. 75 years of building life. When Washington failed to act, one governor decided to lead, Governor Gray Davis. He signed the nation's first law to combat the greenhouse gases that cause global warming. But that's not all he's done to protect our environment. He sued to stop oil drilling off the California coast. He's worked to pass historic bond measures to protect our drinking water and expand state parks. To me, no issue is more fundamental than the fight to protect our coastline, our air, and our water. Governor Gray Davis. Experience we trust. Values we share. accessible to everyone. That's why we're giving you 0% financing for 60 months on 2003 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Or choose a $2,500 cash allowance and make no payments for 90 days. All with our seven year or 70,000 mile powertrain limited warranty. But hurry, because while freedom will go on, 0% financing won't. Now at your Southern California Jeep dealer, you're watching Fox 11 News, World Series Countdown. Even with the Angels in San Francisco, there's one great way to cheer on a team, together with thousands of other fans right in Anaheim, and it's all for a good cause, too. Jane Yamamoto is live at the Arrowhead Pond, and, uh, well, it's pretty loud there, to say the least. Jane? Oh, yeah, Rick, and you know, the Arrowhead Pond, of course, synonymous with the Mighty Ducks, but right now it is all about the Angels. You can see the fans. They are so excited tonight. They opened up the pond to the Angel fans since the series headed north. For those who didn't want to pay the big bucks to travel and buy tickets, it's a pretty good bargain because for $5 you get to watch the game on the big screen. All the money raised goes to Orange County Charities. And so it is a win-win situation for everyone. The fans tonight hoping for a big win. Confident the Angels will win tonight. Fans still full of energy since this series moved up north. Angel spirit. Yeah. It's all with, about the team. It's giving you energy. Right. Absolutely. Have you lost your voice yet? Have I lost my voice? I know we'll sooner get it back and we have to get another game. <laughs> Angels faithful lining up, waiting to watch tonight's game on the big screen at the Arrowhead Pond. And with the series now tied up, 
How are the fans holding up? Give me heart palpitations. <laughs> Finally, very exciting, nail-biting game. I've waited 41 years for this. All right. I've got all the energy I need, a little bit left over. And these fans still have a lot of energy out here, so it is now a three-game series, a critical game tonight. These fans, very confident, they say the Angels are going to win. We'll wait and see what happens because, you know, this has been such a crazy series. And these Angel fans, oh my gosh, I can't even hear you guys. We'll send it back to you. All right, looks like fun out there. Two of the biggest stars, by the way, from the Giants and the Angels went to the same prep school in Van Nuys. Lisa Breckenridge takes us there to see how proud they are of both their graduates. Finley and Vina, the runners. Before Russell Ortiz was the Giants' starting pitcher, before Brad Fulmer was the Angels' designated hitter, and this one is ripped. Both attended Montclair College Prep in Van Nuys. This is the official Russell Ortiz seat, and this is the official Brad Fulmer seat right over here. We've enshrined them. <laughs> she's not just a proud principal, she's Brad Fulmer's mom. I guess if you had to sum it up in one word, it would pretty much be that this is unbelievable. The odds are pretty hard to fathom of having two former classmates competing in the same World Series. In fact, we asked the math teacher, not even he had a good answer. This is uh, probably one in a trillion, I don't know. Maybe we can find somebody at Caltech or someplace that can help us out on that one. Math teacher Walt Steele was the boys' former varsity baseball coach. This was their 1990 championship photo. Both of them played in the program as ninth graders, and you look at them back then and you thought, oh, you know, who knows? Because, you know, they're scraggly, these, these young little guys. And while the Angel fans <laughs> rule the school, the Angels are number one. This PE coach is all about the Giants. She's also engaged to Russell Ortiz's cousin. I wear my Giant shirt to school when Russ pitches, and they root me on on those days, but... <laughs> kind of tough. It's angel territory down here, huh? Yeah, it is. It's a little tough. Definitely the angels. Now, are you saying that just because the mom's sitting over here? Actually, I don't really like Miss Fulmer at all on that. <laughs> I don't think it's conflict of interest. You wish both boys well. Uh, you want them to do well. I hope Russell, when he pitches Sunday, has a great game, just not too good when he's facing Brad. Spoken like a true mom. In Van Nuys, Lisa Breckenridge, Fox 11 News. And more Fox 11's countdown of the World Series is coming up. I'm Jennifer Gould, live at Pac Bell Park. And sure, baseball fans like the long ball, but the players say, these games are getting pretty pretty long. We're going to talk to them coming up in just a bit. The race is on. 0% for five years on any 2002 Ford Focus. It's going fast. So catch it while you can. At Bank of the West, we've been here in the West for 128 years. And like a lot of pioneers, we tend to do things our own way. Like having telephones at every branch with real people to answer them. And hiring enough tellers so you don't have to wait in long lines. We even look for ways not to charge you fees. Now, we understand this isn't the way most banks operate these days, but don't worry, you'll get used to it. Life can be only what you make. Come on, man, five more miles. I got you. Say what's on your mind, and you'll find in time that all the negative energy. Turning raw metal into pure gold isn't easy, unless it's Chevy Truck Month with zero, zero, zero. Zero percent APR. Zero down payment. Zero payments on every new 02 and 03 Chevy truck in stock until 2003. Plus, right now, get $500 bonus cash. It's a new gold rush. Stake your claim. See your Southern California Chevrolet dealer. Hurt near game time for Game 5 of the World Series. So let's check in again with Jennifer Gould live at Pac Bell Park. Jennifer, 
Hi, Rick. Yeah, we're here at Pac Bell Park, and again, the game is just going to be minutes away right now. Game five, a very crucial game for the Angels to win tonight. And if you look behind me right now, you can see some of them already taking the field and warming up. Warming up is a key issue. It's been chilly here. It's been between 58 degrees, and in the evening, obviously, as the game wears on, it gets a heck of a lot colder out here for the guys. They've bundled up. The crowd's bundled up. They've been given skull caps with Angels. Uh, signias on them, they had parkas and what have you, but warming up is also key because the games have been so long for these guys, some of them lasting for more than four hours, and even though it's a lot of wear and tear on these guys, they say it's definitely worth it. The games have been really long themselves, I mean, some of them have been lasting more than three hours long. You're sitting there crouching behind the plate, that's got to be tough. It is tough, I mean, you're used to uh, regular season, it's like two and a half, maybe 245, and then you come over to the playoff and it's four and a half. And you don't, you don't seem to explain it, but I mean, you got to be ready for it. Yeah, it gets a little bit tired, but it's all right, we're still in the World Series. So how do your knees handle it, though? They get sore by the eight, maybe nine. But then uh, the adrenaline that you get going, I mean, they don't let you feel it. It is hard. It's mentally and, and physically tiring, but uh, it's the World Series, and, and we know we got a long break after this, and uh, we got a day off tomorrow, so we'll leave everything on the field. It's the World Series. Uh, you find a way to, you know, stick it out, and, and it has been tough. You know, there's, I can point out a bunch of regular season games that are, you know, two and a half hours that seem longer than this, so no complaints here. And these fans you're looking at right now here waiting in anticipation for game five. It is now tied at two games apiece. Who is going to win tonight? That, of course, is on everybody's mind before the teams both head back to Anaheim for that definitely crucial game six as well. In the meantime, tonight we've seen lots of stars here in Pac Bell for the last two days. Everyone ranging from Ray Liotta to Billy Crystal to uh, you name it, from Willie Mays to Kirk Gibson. Tonight's pregame ceremonies, they're going to have country singer Leanne Rimes, who's going to sing the national anthem, and that's all they have on tap for this evening. Right now, everyone just looking forward to the game and ready for everyone to play ball. That's it for now from Pac Bell Park. I'm reporting live. Jennifer Gould sending it back to you, Rick, in the studio. I'll all take right. it. And I bet there might be a celebrity hiding out there in the no, crowd. But there'll be a few. And they won't be way up top either. <laughs> I don't know in the good seats. Yeah. Well, that's it for the Fox 11 World Series countdown. Stay tuned now for Game 5 from Pac Bell Park. It's right here on Fox. And then join us for a complete recap of tonight's game and all the news on the Fox 11 10 o'clock news. Thanks for watching the pregame and enjoy your show. should be accessible to everyone. That's why we're giving you 0% financing for 60 months on 2003 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Or choose a $2,500 cash allowance and make no payments for 90 days. All with our seven year or 70,000 mile powertrain limited warranty. But hurry, because while freedom will go on, 0% financing won't. Now at your Southern California Jeep dealer, a trauma emergency in L.A. County. This is L.A. Rescue 66. We're en route with a seven-year-old male with trauma. Our ETA is five minutes. In 1985, we had 22 trauma hospitals. Today, there are only 13, and more are closing. Hold 66. Hospital is close to trauma. Closest is Memorial. It's too far. Measure B will keep our trauma hospitals open. Vote yes on Measure B. At Nissan, we were the first to bring you the four-door compact truck. Yeah, yeah, but what have you done for us lately? Just added an over six-foot-long bed. 
Get 0.9% financing and $12.50 cash back on every new 2002 Frontier. The doors are wide open. For breaking news, watch Rod Burnson, only on Fox 11 News. Presentation of Fox Sports. Dude, did you really think this World Series is about fun and sun? Just because it's on the left coast? Well, sir, I reckon you're dead wrong. Since this here World Series is scripted straight out of the old wild, wild west. Because this ain't baseball. This is a good old fashioned shootout. Yeehaw! Game one down there in the City of Angels had the mean swing of Barry Bonds. And just let me tell you, partner, about game number two. Nobody, I mean nobody, had any idea who'd be left standing till the very bitter end. In game number three, the locale shifted to the San Francisco Bay. And these fellas may call themselves angels. But these Southern Cali boys were anything but, as they attacked with ruthless and reckless abandon. And then in game four, them Giants even the score. Just like in the Old West, you best start living or you end up dying. And now, in game five of this showdown, it's a story of guts and survival, as baseball's Cowboys track the trail of that ultimate treasure the title of champion of not just the West, but of the whole world. Baseball is next. It's gonna be rough. Coming at you straight out of the wild, wild West. So saddle up, ride him in, raw high. Tonight on Fox, the Bulls and the Cubby Cove are still afloat. So are the Giants. When the bell rang after a Game 4 showdown by the Bay, we were once again reminded why the Giants and Angels are called wild cards. Because anything can happen. Hi everyone, welcome to Game 5 of the World Series. Jeannie Zalasko along with Kevin Kennedy. Once again, all the talk surrounds Barry Bonds, but this time it's for what he is not doing with his bat. Three intentional walks in a Game 4. In your history in baseball, have you ever seen anything like this? No, Jeannie, I haven't. Maybe in Babe Ruth times, but not in our lifetime. Is this going to happen again? There's only one player in Major League Baseball that changes the way you manage against him. Innings 1 through 9. That is Barry Bonds. Why? His tremendous ability, his tremendous power. Seven home runs is a Major League record. Tried with Troy Glover. In the walks, 23 of those. That's a record intentionally 11 times, five times in World Series. That's incredible. Two times last night, they walked Barry Bonds early with big innings potentially on the horizon, only to have Benito Santiago ground into double plays to end those rallies, and it paid off last night for Mike Socha, although Santiago got him later on. Both teams with some stellar defense. They both turned two double plays, and so much talk of offense in this series, but we really saw a great defensive show. We really did. The Angels were number two in the American League in fielding. The Giants were number four. And the turning point of the ball game for me, Kenny Lofton in the fifth inning. Giants down three runs. This bunt right here looks like it's going to stay fair. The last second foul just for an instant. Troy Glass grabs it a little bit too late. It did stay fair. The tying run scored in that inning went 3-3. Defensively, J.T. Snow, six-time gold clever, turns a base hit and set into a 3-6-3 double play. That was in the sixth. In the seventh, J.T. Snow again going to his left down the line. Take a, a double away from Darren Erstad. Then Tim Salmon, a deep drive. Kenny Lofton taking at least a double away from him. And then the counterpart to J.T. Snow, Spezio, a fine defensive first baseman as well. Gets the bunt catch right there, keeps the inning alive defensively until the pass ball, ironically, happened to Benji Molina. This guy's a good defensive catcher that put the winning run in the scoring position. David Bell got the base hit to win it for the Giants. Now, of course, we're not the only one taking notes. Darren Baker, Nikolai Bonds, Sean Dunstan Jr. soaking it all in. You won't find this at the NBA Finals or the Super Bowl. Go into the office with Daddy. You have to do a little work, but you get the best seat in the house. The kids in the house, it's the Giants' secret weapon. To me, it adds life to your, you know, to your workplace. It adds some humor because they're going to do something or say something that's going to crack you up and keep you loose. And at the same time, you know, how many kids, especially boys, get to go to work with their dad?
being around your family and around your father, it really helps you respect the game of baseball when you do get in the game. So I think if we, if our kids do make it, they will respect the game and know how to play the game. I think that's like the joy of, that's one of the joys of our, of our occupation. All right, let's be honest. The little guy's a good luck charm. The three and a half year old, whenever he goes with daddy to work, I'm talking about Darren Baker, they're seven and oh. Let's talk about the kids in the other dugout, the Angels who make their own good luck. Well, the Angels have a bunch of big kids over there. Nobody bigger than their hitting coach, Mickey Hatcher, who says, I like to leave my kids alone. I have not had to sit down and do much with any of these guys. These guys' program every day is to take their batting practice. They go in, get a little bit of food, they sit down and they watch the pitcher that's going to throw tonight. And they really sit down there and they talk to each other as players. And, and that's what I want. I want these guys as players talking together instead of having the hitting coach always putting things in their head because these are the guys that are going out there between the lines and playing. They, learned, they need to learn how to make the adjustments. They need to be their hitting coaches. Well, the adjustment the Angels are going to have to make tonight is a power pitcher, Jason Schmidt. 97, 98 fastball. No finesse from this guy. However, as we've said before, the Angels, the best fastball hitting team in Major League Baseball. And quickly, Jared Washburn. Jared Washburn, the same thing. He's going to go power. 92, 93 fastball up. No fooling around. He says he's going to challenge Barry Bonds. We'll see if he does it again. All right. Still ahead, our best of seven series has become a best of three. Tonight, the winner moves within a game of the championship. The loser will be facing extinction. When that 70s show returns, I'm pregnant. Kitty drops a bombshell. God, no. I mean, great. And Kelso discovers Hyde and Jackie's secret love. What's wrong with this thing? On an hour of that 70s show. Now, Hyde's really dead. Uh oh, new at 87 Central, Fox Tuesday. Hyundai Elantra with America's best warranty. When you get everything you want, you win. Own a 2003 Hyundai Elantra GT for just $239 per month. Open up with Samsung color phones. The new Samsung color phones with internet access. True vivid colors to express the real you. No burger at McDonald's won it. No burger at In-N-Out won it. No burger at Wendy's won it. No burger at Jack in the Box won it. And not a single burger at Burger King won it. The $6 Burger from Carl's Jr., winner of the Restaurant Business Magazine Award for Best New Burger in Its Class. Only $3.95 at Carl's Jr. Thanks. Come back again. Here we go. Get the action going. About time we got a new TV. Thank you, gentlemen. Folding seats, loads of space. If you love it, Chrysler P2 Cruisers got a way to hold it. It's not going fit. Oh. Qualified lessees can lease this 2003 PT Cruiser, starting at $229 a month. Number one in L.A., John Beard, Christine Devine, the Fox 11 10 o'clock news. Attention America, the king is back and bigger than ever. I feel my temperature rising. 
the world's fastest and freakiest talent show returns. 30 Seconds to Fame, a new full hour at 8, next Thursday on Fox. The work week is tough enough. On Sunday nights, who needs the drama? <laughs> November 3rd, on the season premiere of Malcolm. What's the most important rule when visiting the zoo? Oh my God! Never feed the animals. I'm going to fire tranquilizer darts at the tiger. So the plan is to piss them off and keep them awake just long enough so they can take it out on us? Hold on a sec. The Malcolm premiere, a full hour at its new time, 9, 8 central, Sunday, November 3rd on Fox. Welcome back to San Francisco before the start of game five. And now for the introduction of tonight's national anthem, let's join public address announcer Rennell Brooks Moon. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned for a special World Series flyover by the United States Navy VFA-122 Flying Eagles and VFA-125 Rough Raiders. And at this time, we ask that you please rise and remove your caps. Here now to perform our national anthem, please welcome Grammy Award winner, Ms. Leanne Rhymes. Can you see by the dawn's early light what so bright? Twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars Through the perilous fight O'er the ramparts we watch Were so gallantly streaming Small business software, $500. Coming up. Small business seminar, $300. Small business supplies, $90. Leaving work early to use your reward points, priceless. Now small business owners can earn reward points to use more places than ever before. Call 866-444-BONUS for details. There are some things money can't buy. For everything else, there's MasterCard. These people are getting answers to the most important questions they'll ever ask. Questions about their health. They're finding those answers in a single place. WebMD. 16 million people come to WebMD every month. They find vital information that used to be scattered in a hundred locations, now all in one place. The place America comes for healthcare answers. A place called WebMD. You know, some people get heartburn so often they need a prescription every single day. What about the rest of us? For occasional heartburn, try Pepsid first. You take it only when you need it. Take Pepsid AC when you know heartburn's coming and stop it before it starts. Or Pepsid Complete after heartburn's already hit. It stops heartburn fast and lasts all day. No prescription required. Pepsid. Just one and heartburn's done.
One bad parent, one bad player, two bad attitudes. The new Fox Wednesday. It's good to be bad. Yeah. First, it's Parenthood Uncensored. Sound like a good deal, right? A deal with the devil. On oh, Bernie oh. Mac. And it's the new sketch comedy hit Cedric. I'm a time card at 5 o'clock. I'll punch you out. Then Fast Lane. This is a life of crime. You don't drop cover, you never flash it back. The new Fox Wednesday returns with all new episodes at 8, 7 central. The new season of The Simpsons is going to be funnier than ever. Well, duh. First, on Sunday, November 3rd, it's the all-new Halloween special. You're actually quite gentle when you want to be. You know, you're not helping. The following week, Homer goes to the Rolling Stones' fantasy camp. Well, all access. All access. Oh. Plus, don't miss the episode where Marge gets two big enhancements. Great mother of blood. Oh. Catch new episodes of The Simpsons every Sunday in November on Fox. Welcome back to the World Series. Welcome back to San Francisco in Game 5 of the 2002 World Series. The Anaheim Angels and the San Francisco Giants. Welcome to the booth. I'm Joe Buck, Tim McCarver in just a moment. Well, obviously a big win last night for San Francisco to even this series of two games apiece coming back down early 3 to nothing. The Angels' bats were finally quieted down a bit by the San Francisco pitching, and now as you look ahead, you may give the slight edge to the San Francisco Giants with the pitching matchups the rest of the way. And Tim McCarver, you look at this World Series, really the best pitched game that we've seen came in Game 1 with Schmidt and Washburn hooking up, and they have a rematch tonight in Game 5. And when you look at the whole season, these two teams have played 175 games apiece. The one who wins the next two of three is going to be the world champion. As far as both managers are concerned, they're shying away from talking about Game 7, and it's understandable because if they talk about Game 7, then they're conceding the fact that they're going to lose one of the next two. As far as the pitchers are concerned, this is a good park to be the types of pitchers that are pitching tonight. They're both fly ball pitchers, and as everybody knows, the ball does not carry here at Pac Bell. We have established that fact. This is game five, away we go. We're glad you're with us. Tonight on Fox, it is Jason Schmidt, it is Jared Washburn, and right now it's Janice Joplin taking us to break. Small business software, five hundred dollars. Coming up. Small business seminar, three hundred dollars. Small business supplies, ninety dollars. Leaving work early to use your reward points, priceless. Now small business owners can earn reward points to use more places than ever before. Call 866-444-BONUS for details. There are some things money can't buy. For everything else, there's Mastercard. When people first saw the Thunderbird, they flipped. It just evokes something within you. It's clearly just a pure, flat-out emotional connection. You got the sun shining, you got the tunes blaring. I mean, it's really the essence of cool. So long, little bird. Don't pick up any nails. Sinatra would be proud. out of adversity. At AIG, we believe the greatest risk is not taking one. Inside that camera, just between the capacitor and the infrared sensor, there's something familiar. A battery. 
And while it may not be the biggest decision of your day, consider this. When IMAX needed batteries for their 3D camera, they trusted Duracell. So whether it's photographing the heavens or getting a few snapshots of life on Earth, it just has to work. Duracell, trusted everywhere. The answers we take for granted are the ones he'd give anything to know. Are you saying that you have amnesia but seem to know everything else? Now, one man will use his extraordinary gifts. I reverse encrypted their firewall and deconstructed their telnet with viral protocol. To solve the crimes no one else can. The more bizarre a thing looks, the simpler the explanation. And unlock the greatest mystery of all. Who he is. John Doe. An all new episode at 9, 8 central Fox Friday. The World Series on Fox is brought to you by MasterCard. There are some things money can't buy. For everything else, there's MasterCard. By Ford, no boundaries. By Gillette Mach 3 Turbo for the closest shave with less irritation, even against the grain. And by AIG. At AIG, we believe the greatest risk is not taking one. AIG Insurance, Financial Services, and the Freedom to Dare. Well, this World Series will come to a close in Anaheim, and these Giants fans are making some noise for the final time in 2002, Game 5, with this series even at two apiece. The Giants take the field, and it will be Jason Schmidt right in the heart of it all, ready to take on this Anaheim Angels lineup. Just as a reminder, coming into this World Series, something we talked about, the first World Series since 1989 for the Giants since ever. In 42 seasons for Anaheim, an expansion franchise in 1961. The last World Series title for the Giants, it came in New York in 1954 when there was a four-game sweep of Cleveland. And active players with World Series experience coming in, only five for the Giants, none for the Anaheim Angels. Jason Schmidt ready to go. The winner of game five in a series tied 2-2 has won 26 of the 39 World Series. That's on the line tonight as Schmidt gets ready. Here's the lineup for Anaheim. David Eckstein will lead it off. Darren Erstad bats second. Tim Salmon hits third in right field. Then in the middle, Garrett Anderson, Troy Gloss, and Scott Spezio, the first baseman. Adam Kennedy back in the starting lineup for Anaheim with Benji Molina, the catcher, and Jared Washburn. A career 5 out of 14 hitter pitching and batting ninth. Here's Schmidt. Last couple times out in the postseason, Tim, he has been dominating. Dominating against the Cardinals, and he pitched very well in game one against the Angels. Fastball early in the count. That's where Benito Santiago has helped him this year, also early in the game. A vastly improved changeup that acts like a splitter. Wild high with the fastball early can be a problem. So we'll keep an eye on that. As always, the broadcast is also available in Spanish by utilizing the SAP button on your television. And Eckstein is ready to go. He talked about the control problems, which at times can jump up and bite Jason Schmidt. That hasn't been a factor his last two postseason games. He walked only one in game one of the World Series and only one in game two of the NLCS when he worked seven and two thirds innings and allowed one run on four hits. Nor was it a problem in his last 10 starts of the season. He won seven of those 10. All right, have you heard enough stats? Yes. Let's go, let's play ball. First pitch, game five. Hello, strike one. Eckstein, Erstad, and Salmon. crowd is all juiced up in San Francisco and so is that fastball 96 miles per hour from Schmidt and Eckstein got a whiff of it. Get off my plate says Jason Schmidt. One ball two strikes. You don't see this too often. Eckstein swinging through a pitch you missed that three or four inches. The numbers from the start in game one for Schmidt. And there's Eckstein up to get a piece of that 97 mile per hour pitch. You would think that we will see more of the same that we saw in game one with this matchup, Schmidt and Washburn. 
The starting pitching in this World Series has been poor on each side. The exceptions have been these two. A little floater into center field, a one-two pitch, and Eckstein is on with a leadoff hit. You can give in to a hitter in different ways. After four fastballs, a little slider to Eckstein. Santiago wanted it away, and Eckstein won the waiting battle. A little swing by Eckstein, who's choked up on the bat, two strikes. A little punch shot. A good sign for the Angels as the leadoff man is on Darren Erstad steps in had his 12 game postseason hitting streak snapped last night. It's a 4 3 win for San Francisco and the Anaheim Angels who got a run in the second a run in the third sent the minimum to the plate the rest of the night. Good work. Between Reeder, Felix Rodriguez, Tim Worrell, and Rob Ben. Check swing, and that'll get out of play. Strike one. Lackey was the starter for Anaheim. He lasted five innings, allowed three runs on nine hits, and there's a chance that he may be called upon to come back on short rest in game seven if this series goes that far. Ramon Ortiz. 29 year old right hander has some tendonitis in his right wrist. Eckstein has drawn two throws. He has stolen one base in this postseason. Eckstein a threat to steal. We've said it many times. Speed slows down the game. To the right side. Not hard hit. And one out. A force out for six. And the lead man, Eckstein, cut down on this play. A good spin move by Jeff Kent. Throw it to the outside of the bag. And they just missed turning it. Nice play by Aurelia reaching in. But the throw too late to get the speedy Ersted. Really able to hang in there, reaching across his body for that throw with Eckstein bearing down on him. Now Erstad on with one out. And here's Tim Salmon. Salmon has had a terrific World Series, and the bulk of his damage was done in game two. On the outside part, strike one, 95 from Schmidt. Six hits, 16 trips. Four hits plus a walk in game two, including a couple of home runs, the game winner in the eighth inning off Felix Rodriguez. You cannot hit Jason Schmidt up there. It's 0-2. Nope. You're either going to swing through it, pop it up, foul it off. This is a four-seam fastball. Blazer. Still 0 2. You may have noticed the home plate umpire on that pitch. Santiago moved inside. He set up early. Home plate umpire Mike Riley moved inside. A lot of times an umpire will follow a catcher. Moving to the slot. And a lot of that's for self-preservation. <laughs> Let the guy with the glove handle it. Another 0-2 pitch to Salmon. Schmidt has stayed upstairs, and this time Salmon able to Stay away from swinging at it. One ball, two strikes. Two and 
too. You get a shot of Erstad over at first base. And he was a college football player, but a punter who are, who are typically known as intense players. When you watch Erstad take his lead, the face he gives and that intense look, really bearing down, trying to figure out Schmidt and get a jump if he can. He's the most intense ex college punter I've ever seen. Easily. Draws a throw. Same colors at Nebraska. Two sports stars Kenny Lofton, sixth man on the Arizona 88 Final Four basketball team. The kicker punter was Darren Erstad on Nebraska's 1994. NCAA football championship team. The 2 2 pitch. Salmon with one out. Fouls it back here. The Angels come in hitting 340 in the World Series and hitting 390 against San Francisco starters. Last night it was Reeder. The Angels knocked out Levon Hernandez in game three before he could get through four innings. And Russ Ortiz didn't get through two innings in game two. Two out. This is a circle change. You can see, see that ring finger right there? When that finger is used on a pitch, it's going to be the changeup to get Salmon. The tighter the grip, the slower the pitch. Now it's one on two out for Garrett Anderson, who has six hits in this World Series and 19 at bats. It's outside. Anderson. Chipped in last night, not only with his two hits and one run scoring, but with a play that he made down the left field line on a ball hit by David Bell in the sixth inning to tie game. Mike Sosha believes that Anderson, even though he's overlooked, is a gold glove caliber left fielder. Comparing him this afternoon with a young Barry Bonds when Barry played with Pittsburgh. A 1-0. And really it doesn't have a lot to do with the arm strength but it's taking an angle to a ball it's getting to a ball quickly getting in a position to throw which gives either Anderson a shot to throw a guy out or will stop a base runner after seeing the left fielder get to the ball so quickly Anderson up to get it and a base hit into left center field Erstan will hold with a play in front of him two on two out. With the play in front of him and two outs. The outs dictate how you run the bases. This is Garrett Anderson yesterday on a ball hit by David Bell. Fielded in foul territory. You saw what a left hander has to do, and yes, he got it. Now Anderson gets a hit, the second of this first inning for the Angels. And a scoring chance as Troy Gloss stands in. How about that last fastball from Jason Schmidt? That thing was eye high. Garrett Anderson just got up on the first rung of the ladder and smoked it. Gloss took Schmidt deep twice in game one. And that 4 3 San Francisco win. Army Joe, one a slider, the other an inside fastball. Strike one. Good speed on for Anaheim with Erstad, the lead runner at second. Seven home runs this postseason for Gloss. 96.
strike two. A lot of young pitchers are reluctant to pitch power hitters inside, but you have to tie them up. Santiago sitting inside, and that pitch tailing, knocking Gloss down. That's all part of pitching. One ball, two strikes, two on, two out. First inning, game five, with a series even at two apiece. Santiago waving that index finger. That means he'll go through the signs again. After knocking Gloss down, I would imagine they'll go away. Nope. Still a ball and two strikes. Schmidt and Santiago went away from the oldest formula in baseball. Yeah. Up and in, down and away. And we'll see if the Giants stay inside or go away from Troy Gloss here with two strikes. Away, but it missed, and it's two and two. Alfredo Griffin reminding Garrett Anderson to make sure he looks at Erstead. They ride smoother. If they handle more nimbly. If they fold easier. If they look like nothing you've ever seen before. That's because they all come from Ford. We make the best selling line of SUVs in America. Honey, would you relax? The market always comes back. Yeah, but it's our safety net. You don't screw around with that. You, you whoa, can't whoa, just... whoa, Wait a minute. Do you think that this is easy for me? Do you know the pressure I'm under? Do you know how much college is going to cost by the time... Honey, we... that's my point. What if something happens to you? You know? Where would that leave me and the kids? You ever think about that? First, the number one movie of the year comes home on a two-disc special edition DVD and video. You're changing. I know. I went through exactly the same thing at your age. <laughs> Not exactly. This superhero has a new spin with Spider-Rific DVD extras, including the Spider-Man archives, filmmakers' commentary, and much more. Do I get to say thank you this time? <laughs> Spider-Man. Get tangled in the number one movie of the year. Buy it Friday, November 1st on DVD and video. Fox Tuesday. Mr. President, I'm gonna have to go ahead and deal with this. One city. You need to get out of Los Angeles now. Millions of lives will depend on the courage of one man. The season's most addictive adrenaline-fueled thriller is set to explode. <laughs> Keeper Sutherland, 24. The season premiere presented without commercial interruption by Ford. 9 Central, Fox Tuesday. Look at that shot from up above here in San Francisco and down below in Pac Bell Park. He's 28. He's left handed and he's taken on the Giants. Kenny Lofton will lead it off. Rich Aurelia and Jeff Kent 
Barry Bonds, Benito Santiago, and Reggie Sanders in the middle with J.T. Snow, David Bell, and Jason Schmidt pitching and batting night. Jared Washburn, one and one. He was the starter against Jason Schmidt in game one of the World Series. Also started against the Yankees in game one of the divisional series. Loft in a big night last night for San Francisco. Had three hits and a run scored. Makes ball one. Coming into last night's game, Lofton was one for 12. As he stands in, four out of 16. The number is a little better. Ball two. An 18 game winner during the regular season was Jared Washburn. That's into right field and foul. Two off. Heel of the glove, Tim. Yep. You gotta make that play. Base in left field, lofted on to start the night for the Giants. Kenny lofted on, a guard on Arizona's basketball team, which reached the Final Four in 1988. Lofton had 200 career steals and was a teammate of Sean Elliott and Steve Kerr. He did not play baseball until his junior year. And Kenny is on. Here in the bottom of the first inning, one of two athletes to appear in the NCAA Final Four and the World Series, Tim Stoddard the other. To the surprise of many, Rich Aurelia has sacrificed in the first inning. He's done it two games in the postseason. Against a left-hander, I don't think that's a good idea. He does show it and takes a ball. The other argument would be with Schmidt pitching, with the ability to shut a team down, and if not shut them out, slow them down, getting an early lead and getting a run on the board might be beneficial. Just showing bunt on the first pitch. We'll see if the Giants stay with it. Change it up. The 1-0 delivery. Big change, and Aurelia flies one into right center field. Long run. Erstad makes the catch, and Lofton is all the way around the second base back. A race back, and he's there with one out. Lofton had the better view. And he rounds the bag at second base. Right there, now the view, he decides that's going to be in there. Oops, turns on the brakes, has to touch the bag coming back, and the throw toward the second base side, and Kenny's safe. Ball had too much hang time. Nice base running by Lofton. It's another result of those wind currents you've talked about, the ball holding up out in right center field. And Instead of getting down, it hung up, and Erstad made a good play. Yeah, that's why it's good to be a fly ball pitcher in this ballpark. Jeff Kent now. Runner at first with one out, no score, bottom of the first. Strike one from Washburn. Though now using PCS Vision from Sprint or log on to FoxSports.com with our Sprint virtual manager question. How should the Angels pitch Bonds tonight? Walk him. Challenge him or work carefully to him. One on, one out. In for a strike, and obviously that question leads everybody to think about the situation. Sure. The situation dictates how Mike Sosha and the Angels will pitch to Bonds last night, intentionally walking Bonds in his first three plate appearances because they could. One on, one out. Ball one to Kent. Kent, a frustrating night last night, especially at the start. At first and third, nobody out in the first inning and struck out. At second and third, nobody out and lined out. The 
and then did chip in with a sack fly to right in the fifth. The inning in which the Giants got three to tie the engine. Two and two. Interesting way of holding Lofton on. Getting off the base, the New York Mets, Bobby Ballantyne, that is the way he preferred his first baseman to hold runners on. Kenny kind of trying to peek around the right side of Spezio. Just missed from 0-2 to 3-2. Gets away, the runners at first and second, Bonds coming up. And I think, Tim, the Angels are in a spot where they have to pitch to Bonds. The answer to the question, challenge him, and in this spot, with one out in the inning, and the runners at first and second, I think they will at least pitch carefully, but come after Barry Bonds here in the first. Well, a couple of things. Why wasn't Kenny Lofton running on that 3-2 count? Probably if Kent struck out, they wanted Lofton at first base. But if you can walk Bonds first and third with one out, as the Angels did twice last night, why can't you walk him first and second with one out? A little high, but a called strike, and Bonds reacts. First at bat, game one against Jared oh Washburn. God. And an oh my home run from Barry Bonds to right. Runners at first and second, one out, no balls, one strike on Bonds. I think the difference is the lead runner was already at third. Right, so you could score a cheap run. As opposed to here, you're forcing the runner over to third and giving Santiago the easier RBI chance. One ball, one strike. The Angel infield defense is different tonight. With nobody on, or a runner on at first base only, Troy Gloss would be at the shortstop position. The three infielders on the right side. So instead of, instead of having the left field area open, the shortstop area is open for Bond. Two balls and a strike. The reason Gloss has to manned his position is just in case Kenny Lofton runs but he's not likely to run right here with Bonds up. Washburn gave up that game one home run to Bonds it was a solo shot Washburn gave a shrug after that and a little smile different situation here as Bonds rips one into right and the Giants take the lead. Lofton will score. Kent will be held at third. RBI double one to nothing Giants. Jared Washburn changes speeds on his fastball by gripping the ball just a little bit tighter. He throws from 85 to 93. This was closer to 85 than 93. And that's why Bond's able to pull it in the corner and Lofton scores easily, with Kent going to third in the same fashion. Four hops and off the wall and right. And Barry Bonds gets an early chance. The reaction from Washburn now it's second and third one out and Santiago into left field. Kent will tag the throw from Anderson. Two nothing Giants.
Santiago. Think about this inning. Not only was it important whether to pitch or walk Barry Bonds, it turned out maybe a walk would have been more prudent. But the walk to Jeff Kent really set up this two run inning. I was thinking the same thing as you watch Kent score rather easily on the throw by Anderson. You can say what you want about Bonds hitting the RBI double, but what set it up as Sanders will draw a walk here to put two on with two out, what set it up and put Bonds in a position to get a pitch to hit was Washburn losing Kent from an 0-2 count, running it full and then bouncing a 3-2 pitch in to set up Barry Bonds. So an intentional pass here in the first inning, not to Bonds, but to Reggie Sanders. That'll bring in J.T. Snow. We talked about the scouting report of Jared Washburn. He has great game awareness, but the key right here in the scouting report is the 85 to 93 mile an hour fastball. And what Bonds saw was a choke fastball. And because it was slower, that Bonds was able to pull it. That was more 85 than 93. Now J.T. Snow. Snow hit a home run the opposite way in Anaheim against Washburn in game one. Two on, two out. And a strike hits the inside corner. J.T. Snow in last night's game got the leadoff base hit in the eighth inning against Francisco Rodriguez and scored the winning run on the one out hit by David Bell. One ball one strike. Bonds the lead runner and Reggie Sanders who got the walk is on at first. Two run first inning for the Giants. A chance for more. It's up to Snow. And it's three and one. With David Bell on deck. This could be a similar pitch on which J.T. Snow hit the home run in Anaheim. Fastball away. The bases are loaded. Third walk of the inning. David Bell will be the hitter. Bud Black is out to talk to Jared Washburn last night. The hero was Bell. Coming up with a rare hit against Francisco Rodriguez, scoring JT Snow to make it 4 3, and that's how it ended. And now Bell with a chance to make this a huge first inning for San Francisco. Focus has been on Barry Bonds, but look at the others in the Giants lineup in this postseason. Aurelius hit five home runs. Santiago, 13 RBIs. And the NLCS most valuable player, Lofton, 16 hits. Snow with 16 hits. And David Bell, the man at the plate, with a game winning RBI last night. Bases loaded, two out, ball one. And Washburn is wild at the start. And the deeper in the count he goes, the more David Bell can look for a fastball middle of the plate in his strength. 
Bond, Sanders, and Snow, the runners. Two and oh. Normally with the pitcher on deck, you would be hitting 3-0, but the bases are loaded. No place to put Bell. So Bell will be taking here, one would assume. 3-1. On deck is the pitcher, Schmidt. Bases loaded walk to David Bell and it's been a three run first inning for the Giants. Prior to that at bat Bud Black paid a visit to his left handed starter Washburn and had this to say. Now Schmidt, the pitcher, takes a strike. What Bud Black, Black was talking about, push off your back leg and don't drift. A lot of pitchers drift toward the plate. Stay back, release the ball. A four-walk first inning for Jared Washburn, who runs into 0-2 on Schmidt, who's a career 101 hitter with 14 RBIs. Barry Bonds. One of only two hits in this three run first inning for San Francisco. Inning over, but not before the Giants come up with three. A hit by Lofton, a walk to Kent. Barry Bonds with a ringing double into the right field corner. A sack fly by Santiago and a bases loaded walk. And after one in game five, three nothing Giants. Fresh beer is just like fresh bread. Beer is a food product, and fresh beer will always taste more drinkable. It'll be lighter, it'll be cleaner, and it'll be the very best beer you can buy. No brewer will argue that fresh beer is better beer. If you can get the freshest beer possible, you're going to get the very best beer possible. I gotta tell you, I've had some great deals come my way, but a big and tasty. For just a dollar, you did your thing, dog. Not that I'm calling you a dog. I mean, you're more like a big purple. I don't know what you are. <laughs> what you say about my mama? Huh? <laughs> Get a delicious big and tasty, a McChicken sandwich, and more every day on McDonald's Dollar Menu. You got a buck, you're in luck. Grimace. Bump with me. What? You've got one. You've probably got more than one. And chances are one of yours is one of ours. Because nobody in credit cards gives you Bank One's range of choices. You could use this one to get cash back. This one to fly. This one to show you care. Fact. Bank One gives you over 1,200 choices. Why do we go to all that trouble? Don't you think somebody should? Okay, freeze. This is Jen, and she has the sudden urge to learn Italian. Who can help? The Italian Institute in Chicago. Carry on. Hello. How do you say hi? My name is Jen. Now be a good boy and come over here and sit on Mama's lap. 
This is going to take a while. Now get the most minutes to use whenever. Introducing T-Mobile. Get more. November 3rd, Homer discovers the horrors of human cloning. Hmm, no belly button. Shuttle's in the hangar. It's an all-new Simpsons Halloween special. Sunday, November 3rd on Fox. Oh! Three runs put up by the Giants in the first inning. Now the second. The Angels will have Spezio, Kennedy, and Molina. And Spezio after the first pitch, strike one. He's got five hits, 15 trips in this World Series. You see that postseason average of 362. Schmidt got around two hits in the first inning. Espizio is in the hole 0 2. Joe, how odd was that first inning? The Giants batted around. They walked four times, and one of them was at Bonds. Because of the walk to Kent, Bonds got a chance to swing it, and as he has done all year when he put up a 370 average, one of the few times he saw something to rip, he did down into the right field corner. Spezio strikes out. That good Schmidt changeup. The hitters have to cope with both the fastball that hard and the changeup. That slow, it's tough. Three strikeouts now for Schmidt. Now it's Kennedy who didn't start in last night's game, but came in in the ninth inning as a pinch hitter for Gill. Took the first pitch from Rob Nen and singled into right. It was the tying run on base, but Fulmer bounced into a game ending 6 3 double play. And a leg straightener from Schmidt makes it ball one. With one out, Kennedy takes a strike. You look ahead in this World Series and really question marks on each side with regard to their starting pitching selections. Easy for Snow, two out. Anaheim has Kevin Apier slated to go in game six on Saturday night. You remember Apier couldn't hang on to a five run lead and lasted only two innings in game number two. A game that the Angels eventually came from behind to win 11 to 10. And then if there is a game seven you've got San Francisco with Levon Hernandez scheduled to pitch. He lost 16 games this season and lasted only three and two thirds in game three Molina fouls it away strike one if there is a game seven it's a Brunswick stew both managers will throw everything in the pot there's an option for San Francisco reader and an option for Anaheim lackey three to nothing here in game five with the Giants on top We're in second one ball one strike Game seven of the World Series, every pitcher's a reliever. A 1 1. Breaking ball in for strike two. Talked about a leg straightener to Adam Kennedy. Here's a leg straightener to Molina with the breaking ball. Inning over. Strikeout number four for Schmidt. Giants bat, bottom of the second, up 3 nothing. Move it on over. 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 Move it on
Gehrig's farewell speech. Selfless. Robinson's rookie year. Fearless. Fisk's game winner. Timeless. Our pastime. Priceless. There are some things money can't buy. For everything else, there's MasterCard. Devoted fan of Major League Baseball and its most memorable moments. Please enter password. Please scan retina. Please submit blood sample. Please submit hair sample. Can your security software protect your entire enterprise without making you jump through hoops? Ready for that 10 o'clock, Dave? Coming. Ours can. Comprehensive security solutions from Computer Associates. Pepsi Blue, a fusion of berries with a splash of cola. Pepsi Blue, it's a blue thing. The World Series on Fox is brought to you by Pepsi Blue, a fusion of berries with a splash of cola. It's a blue thing. By GMC, we are professional grade. And by MasterCard, there are some things money can't buy. For everything else, there's MasterCard. Up above, the Saturn light ship. Saturn and its retailers hope you're enjoying Fox's coverage of Major League Baseball's 2002 World Series. Top of the order for the Giants, Lofton, Aurelia, and Kent against Washburn. Lofton single in the first, and he pops it up here in the second. Playable, next time. Long run, can't hang on. Disappears behind the tarp. He had the farthest way to run and off the heel of the glove. It would have been a very difficult play for either Anderson, the left fielder, Glaus, or Eckstein. And David reaches too far. No error on the play. He had the best angle and dropped it. Now Lofton. Take strike two. Jared Washburn tied a record with the four walks in the first inning. It's happened ten times now. You would have to believe that nerves have something to do with that throughout history. As an 0-2. Lofton another hit. It's tonight, three last night. Starting the inning well for the Giants with Aurelia Canton Bonds coming up. The final piece to the Giant puzzle this year, Brian Sabian, the general manager, picking up Kenny Lofton with postseason experience on July 28th from the Chicago White Sox. We said earlier in the playoffs that no matter what the two kids do, that Sabian and the Giants gave up to get Kenny Lofton. The Giants end up winning the World Series and Lofton's a big part of it. That trade will always be justified by fans in this area. Sure. Brian Sabian also unsigned past this year as is the manager Dusty Baker. Sabian has been very open about the fact that he wants to remain here with San Francisco. Aurelia into right center field diving catcher stand one out. The tough part about this play is Erstead had to dive where the ball was tailing. Ball hit by a right-hander, tailing into right center. Nice play, Darren Erstead. Tougher play for a left-handed thrower because you have to catch it across your body. Fine, fine play by Erstead. Gene Klein's a hitting coach. Bon Aurelia had his first hit of the night. That would have produced a run easily with the speed of Lofton on. Now it's Kent. He drew that important one-out walk in the first inning to set up Bonds with two on, 
and only one out. Two and zero. Oh. Realize that Barry Bonds and Jeff Kent barely speak to each other and have been surprisingly public about the fact that they don't get along at all. In the World Series, hitting in the number three and four spots for Dusty Baker. A lot of that has been smoothed over lately, but it came to a head toward the end of June in San Diego. As that misses low for ball three, three and oh. Two difficult personalities and the two clash in the clubhouse but fit well for each other in this lineup on the field. And a 3-0 is in for strike one. Yeah, you don't have to like a teammate if you like what he does on the field. Little different look than Eckstein gives you in the on deck circle. Yep. One on, one out, three balls and a strike. Kent into right field, well hit. Back is Salmon. Off the wall. Lofton will dig for third. They will hold him there. Second and third, one out. And first base is open with Bonds coming up. A double by Kent. Opening up first base. Tough right field to play. We talked about the wind currents last night. Fortunately for the Angels, it comes off the padded wall, hits Salmon in the right thigh, and stays there. Because of that, Lofton, who's not sure, only goes to third. And here comes walk number 24 of the postseason for Barry Bonds. And no arguing this decision with the 12th intentional pass being handed to Bonds. It's already three to nothing San Francisco. And these seats are filled with fans who have brought chickens with them to the ballpark. There's ball four to load them up for Santiago. Our sprint virtual manager question with Washburn struggling here in the second should Sosha get the bullpen going. Base is loaded with one out and Santiago with yet another opportunity to hurt the Angels. Grounded into two double plays his first two times up last night and delivered an RBI single his third time up. The thing about Washburn, he only threw eight ground ball double plays during the season. Again, a fly ball pitcher. Into center field, a hit for Santiago. Into score is Lofton. The throw to the plate. Kent is safe. The runners move up to second and third. And it's five to nothing, Giants. Up baseball games, you see something you had never seen before. And on this play, I see something that I've never seen before. The underthrow of Molina hits Reggie Sanders, who is telling Kent to get down on the right foot. Check this out. 
going. Now Sanders gets to swing the bat with runners at second and third in the infield in. I think because no damage, no further damage was done, the umpire's ruling is to leave the runners where they are. But if it goes in the dugout, it would have been interesting to see what the ruling was. Would be, would have been. One ball, one strike. The virtual manager answer is yes, and Scott Shields may make his first postseason appearance as he gets loose. Washburn getting knocked around in the first two innings. One ball, two strikes on Sanders. Off Santiago's bat, a single, two RBIs, E8. On the throw that got away. To allow Santiago to get down to second base. Two and two on Sanders. You have a five run lead on a ground ball to the infield, even though the Angel infield is in. You really should send the runner from third base. You got a left hander on deck. You have a five run lead. You're willing to take a chance. Into right center field. That's deep enough to score by. He tags and scores. Santiago tags and goes to third. It's six to nothing, San Francisco. batted around two consecutive innings. The Giants are sending their 16th hitter to the plate. And we're only in the second. Santiago easily the second as Bond scores the sixth run. Ball one to Snow. Runner at third, two out. One ball, one strike on J.T. Snow. An intentional walk to Barry Bonds in this inning. And then a two-run single by Santiago, who was 8 for 22, following a Barry Bonds walk in the postseason. With 11 RBIs. Strike two to Snow. Just outside, two balls, two strikes. RBIs in the first by Bonds, Santiago, and Bell. And here in the second by Santiago again and Reggie Sanders. Snow trying to pick one up from third with two out. And a good rip. Should end the inning. Shallow left center. First down will put it away. 
And the Giants are finished in the second. Another three runs put up. Eckstein couldn't catch the foul ball, and then Lofton later in that at bat started the three run rally with a base hit. Santiago delivers after the walk to Bonds, and after two, six to nothing Giants. So, uh, are you sure? Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> A new baby. With two teenage boys. This should be fun. So, when he starts college, we'll be... 60. <laughs> no, honey, this isn't a joke. Why do I rent from Enterprise? For more cargo room. More people room. Or more headroom. Enterprise. So easy, it's like having a second car. Or third. Pick Enterprise. We'll pick you up. Taco Bell's grilled steak taco tastes so authentic, you may pull a grilled steak switch out. So you like carne asada steak? Yeah. Great. Got some out on the grill. The Grilled Steak Taco. Tender slices of steak marinated in Mexican spices and grilled to perfection for a taste that's irresistible. For authentic carne asada steak, think outside the bun. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. For when you need it most. Uh-oh. Our longest-lasting Energizer Max ever. What was that? Energizer Max. Do you have the bunny inside? Monday. Stick it on your nose. What school is definitely back in session? It's time we make them afraid again. Well, you're certainly scaring me. With the most unpredictable season yet. You're an underage prostitute. I can't not call the police. The hit series Boston Public. This is why I work, Mr. Senate. All new, 87 Central Fox Monday. The Rock. Alcatraz. Kind of reminds you of April 15th. Make sure you pay your taxes. <laughs> Here's Jared Washburn, the pitcher, staying in to hit. Ball one high from Schmidt. Washburn, a career, five for 14 hitter. 357 average, two RBIs, and a strike on the outside corner. Axton will follow, and then Erstad. Shortstop, Aurelia. Five in a row retired by Schmidt after getting around a leadoff single and a two out single by Anderson in the first. Only in the third inning and with Mike Socia allowing Washburn to hit here in the third. He is certainly concerned about the bullpen, the overuse of the bullpen, even though they have the off day tomorrow. But Washburn, a good hitter. We've been talking about it between innings, saying maybe it would be right to allow Washburn to hit and then still bring in Scott Shields. That way you save a pinch hitter in case you get close. Eckstein with one out. Takes the ball. Erstad next. Two and out. wide three and oh again one of the strengths for Jason Schmidt in this postseason has been limiting walks throwing strikes as he delivers a four pitch walk with one out to Eckstein to bring in Erstad who made a diving catch 
in the bottom of the second to Rob Aurelia something that Angels fans are used to seeing. I take more pride in defense than I do in anything. Uh, anytime you can pick up one of your teammates, uh, beat a pitcher, you know he's out there battling, and the least you can do is <laughs> try and catch the ball for him. So I guess from an offensive side, we know how important 90 feet is, and defensively, uh, you take that same mentality. You don't want to give up 90 feet any time you can stop that. Erstad takes ball one. Taking away 90 feet at least. That was the catch on Aurelia in the bottom of the second. And the Angels players will tell you that their team leader is this guy, Darren Erstad. Who has one error in his last 271 games, and the Angels have had two of the best center fielders in the game control that spot. And Jim Edmonds and Darren Erstad. Close to the last 10 years. 1 0 pitch, 1 on, 1 out. That's six straight that have missed from Schmidt. Remember the scouting report, wild high. That's the danger with Jason Schmidt. Runner going on a strike right down the middle and next time. Figured that Schmidt wasn't paying any attention to him and just steals his second base of the postseason. David Eckstein's mom and dad are teachers in Sanford, Florida. And Mike Socia, before the game, talking about his intelligence. His mom and dad have taught him well. On two and one, Erstad, two balls, two strikes. Often referred to as the brain. Three of his siblings have survived kidney transplants. Remarkable as well. The guy who was put on waivers by the Red Sox in the year 2000. And now the Kickstarter in this lineup for the Angels is Erstad Waits. And a little jam shot. Shallow left might drop. It does for a hit. Eckstein will hold it third, first and third, one out. A walk, a stolen base, a floater into left, and Salmon's coming up. The Giants came from five runs down against the Angels to take the lead in game two. Now the Angels trying to do the same thing. Even though they trailed by six, there is no defense in the world that can allow a player to catch that ball. Now Salmon is all of a sudden the Angels have a chance to take a bite out of this six run San Francisco lead. Good pitch on the outside corner strike one. In game one Salmon was hitless against Schmidt. First time up, struck out. Runners at the corners with one away. And in the dirt, scooped up by Santiago. One ball, one strike. And in game two, Joe, World Series fans and baseball fans will remember that Reggie Sanders hit a three-run home run against Kevin Apier on an 0-2 pitch to put the Giants right back in the thick of things. Doesn't seem to matter what the score is, what the situation is. Mike Sosha turns his base runners loose. Erstad, a guy that he trusts, and Schmidt is not going to fall asleep this time as he did with Eckstein on earlier in the inning. That 
That's low. Two balls and a strike. Top of the order, setting up the heart of the order for the Angels here in the third inning. Salmon up on the count, two balls and a strike. Now it's two and two. That was a two seam fastball, usually down in the strike zone. Four seamer is up in the strike zone. Stand running as Salmon fouls it away. Have you seen a more aggressive team on the bases in the postseason than the Angels? No, not. Uh -uh. Thing you might want to do if you're an infielder, you have a six run lead. If the runner runs, hold your position. Don't cover the bag. In essence, you're giving up the run on third base the next time. But you're trying to prevent the big inning. Another 2-2. Two, two. two out. Salmon strikes out for the second time tonight. Five strikeouts for Schmidt. That was the four-seam fastball. Up in the zone, get Salmon. Now the inning is up to Garrett Anderson for the Angels. Anderson singled back in the first, took a 95, 96 mile an hour fastball that was way up out of the strike zone and hit it into center field. That's strike one. One hundred twenty three RBIs during the regular season Anderson nearly hit by the pitch gets away but not far enough for Eckstein to score and that's ball one Santiago fortunate to just have the ball hang up in the web to slow it down. It's been a long year behind the plate for Benito Santiago at the age of 37. His 176th game this year in a Giants uniform. He hasn't played all of them. Throw over and there's that back. There's that very deceptive throw over given by Santiago. Might as well just yell it out. Yeah, just, yo, Jason. Yo, Jason. Throw it to first. Here's a 1 1 to Garrett Anderson, first and third, two out. Another changeup from Schmidt. And the Giants are a strike away from keeping it six to nothing. By Santiago. It's ball two. That was a terrific play. We talked about it earlier in the series because of that accident that Santiago had in 98. He has a difficult time with that right knee. Usually that's his trail knee. He'll get down on his left knee easily. But that accident that kept him laid up in the hospital for about three and a half months. 
severely damaged right leg. And here he is four years later catching in the World Series. What a story. The middle part of the year was an all-star for the National League. Garrett Anderson first and third two out. Into right field. Sanders inning over. Jason Schmidt into and out of trouble. He's racked up five strikeouts. He has shut out the Angels on three hits. And after two and a half, six to nothing, San Francisco. This way, you're not going to believe this. What was stolen? Everything. Payroll. R&D. Customer records. All the assets. How could they get everything? I don't know. You're the cops. The room is completely empty. All the assets were in this room? Everything. Ned, the servers. They stole all our servers. No, we moved everything onto that one. It's going to save us a bundle. I sent out an email. IBM e-servers running Linux. What's a server? They can save you a bundle. I can't sleep, Mom. There are monsters in my closet. I have an idea. There, honey. Feel safe? Now the monsters are under the caravan. No, they aren't. I'll show you. Dodge Caravan. A feeling of security no matter what lies ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Told you so. Sure. Let's hide under the minivan. Great idea. Sea Monsters, Inc. Now on DVD and in the Dodge Caravan. Get a no-extra-charge portable DVD or VHS player with any new 2003 Caravan, plus Dodge's 770 powertrain limited warranty. So how's it coming? Good. This one looks pretty exotic. Cool. Mosquito net. What was that? Maybe not that exotic. Great. Everything you need to choose the hotel that's right for you. Expedia.com When I get older, losing my hair Many years from now Will you still be sending me a valentine's Birthday greetings, bottle of wine If we'd been out till quarter to three Would you lock the door? Will you still need me? Will you still feed me? When I'm 64 What would you do? If you caught your best friend with your ex. Go ahead and hit me. Free shot. You ready? Here it comes. Don't miss the confrontation. It's coming. We're ready. Do it, fool. On an all new hour of that 70s show at 8, 7 Central Fox Tuesday. The Bay Bridge all lit up on a Thursday night. Here in San Francisco, a breaking ball is in for a strike to David Bell with Schmidt on deck and then Lofton. Washburn has had two long, rough, poor innings. To the left side in the hole, Eckstein, no chance. Base hit. Already six hits to go with the five walks that have been handed out to the Giants. Nice effort by Eckstein. Too much to do to get anybody. Maybe running through your folks' minds that would Schmidt bunt right here with a six run lead? Absolutely. It's only the third inning. The Angel offense. Giants have seen how important that offense is. Good punt by Schmidt. Down to second Bell. Sacrifice good 1-4. October's magical matchups continue this week with Fox NFL Sunday beginning with America's number one pregame show. Then it's history in the making as Emmett Smith needs just 93 yards against the Seahawks to break Walter Payton's all-time rushing record. Or the Cardinals take on Terrell Owens and the 49ers in an NFC West showdown with first place at stake or other regional action, all part of a full weekend of magical matchups, critical NFL games, and baseball's World Series takes center stage only on Fox. Kenny Lofton, a big reason why the Giants are up 
Six to nothing in this game. Takes a strike. Let off the first with a base hit. Scored a run and the double by Bonds and let off the second with a hit. And scored on the two run single by Santiago. Adam Kennedy takes care of Lofton, two away. That'll bring in Aurelia, who's 0 for 2. Aurelia and Schmidt, the only two not in on the fun so far for the Giants, and even Schmidt got down a bunch in this third inning. Runner at third, two out, six to nothing Giants, and that's kept in the plate by Molina. Center field well hit. Back near the track is Erstad to end the inning. That'll do it for the first three. Here in game five, it's 6 0 San Francisco with his series even and two wins apiece. All right. I take batting practice. I take infield practice. I take Viagra. Ask your doctor if Viagra is right for you and visit Viagra.com for more information. Step up to the plate and make an appointment to see your doctor. Now on DVD and video, from the studio that brought you Remember the Titans, comes an amazing true story. Don't hurt yourself. And only on DVD, get footage of the real Jimmy Morris. The Rookie, rated G. Own it now on DVD and video. What if the new Kia Sorento was in a race against the other SUVs? Who would win? The little ones would be left in the dust. Some just too honking huge. Others would be afraid of getting dirty. And the rest, they'd be distracted by the wads of cash we saved. The midsize Sorento with a 10-year warranty won this unbiased race. After all, it is our commercial. The new Kia Sorento. Make every mile count. Gemma Mark. Uh, yeah, hi. I'm having a problem with my PC. No, it's not us. Call the maker. Wait, 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 wait. What? Yeah, my PC is now. Um, yeah, I tell them no calls. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Not us. But wait, no I have calls. a. I, but, but, but wait, wait. Boiler room. Boiler room. Tired of getting the runaround? Then come to your local Gateway store, where our friendly staff is ready to help you. We offer in-store training and service, plus all the cool stuff you need to make sure you get the most from your PC. Gateway, a better way. When I look at Steve and Jenny, I just think, wow. What did Jenny have that all the others didn't? Because Steve's had a lot of women. Women all over the world. You know, Europe, Asia, Africa, you name it, Steve's been there. One word, buddy, Amsterdam. Huh? Now, this guy knows what I'm talking about. Well, what can I say? The guy's been around, you know, the block, a couple hundred times. <laughs> The World Series on Fox is brought to you by Budweiser, delivering beer at its best with a crisp, clean, and refreshing taste known only to the king of beers. If you take a step back and look at the big picture of what's happened in this World Series, the 11 runs put up by Anaheim in Game 2 to outdistance the Giants, a final of 11-10 and even the series 1-1. Then Game 3... The Angels came in here and put up 10 runs on 16 hits and stranded 15 runners. Only the third team to score 10 or more runs here at this park against the Giants this year. And it looked like the Angels were going to have their way here in San Francisco. They get out to a 3 to nothing lead early last night. But then from the fourth inning on, the Giants pitching staff faced the minimum. And tonight... They've shut down Anaheim in the first three innings and lead six to nothing while they start to put up the runs. It's been a complete reversal as Gloss takes a strike 
And we're underway in the fourth inning. Gloss, Bezio, and Kennedy. Molina, the number eight hitter, if anybody gets on, and then the pitcher spot. No balls, two strikes on Gloss. Some of our opening remarks before game one, considering the pitching on both teams, obviously the bullpen's very, very important to Mike Sosha, to Dusty Baker. But last night, a gutty performance by Kirk Reeder after he gave up three runs in the second and third inning. But the starters in this series have not done well at all. The Giants enter, even though Schmidt tonight is strong, but the Giants enter tonight with their starters an earn run average over nine, and the Angels with their starters an earn run average over eight. That's got to go up with six runs scored off Washburn. Leading off in the fourth inning, Gloss strikes out. Six strikeouts for Schmidt. You can support your favorite team with a Major League Baseball Authentic Collection Premier Jacket featuring ripstop nylon and micro fleece lining. Right. Call 1-866-MLB-GAME or visit MLB.com to order now. Ripstop nylon. Right. Here's Scott Spezio. And there's strike one. Another odd thing about this postseason in all of baseball. Eight teams started, then there were four, and now there are two. No shutouts. Not one shutout in this postseason, but Schmidt has one here. One ball, one strike on top of that coming into the World Series. In every series, division, LCS, the team with the home field advantage going into the series lost. The Angels with the home field advantage going into this World Series in the count two and one. These and other nutty facts are available on FoxSports.com. Here's a 2-1 to Spezio. 2-2. Two and two. We have more nutty facts. Uh-oh. Last night ended the players' participation in the money that they will earn in the World Series. The players only participate in the first four games. Bud Seeley, well aware of that. The 2 2. Spezio, a good job to lay off that change up. And it's a full count. Winning share this year should be somewhere around $325,000, I would think, for each player. Spezio stays up there. What was the winning share back in the 60s? <laughs> ha! 1964, $8,600. Don Fear knows that in the white sweater there. It's uh, gone up dramatically since 1964. Cash that check. Yeah. Long time ago. With the bases empty and one out, Spezio hits it foul. Oh, he got it. Come on, knock us out. Well, a lot of folks may not know that the players share in only 60% of the first four games. Another 10% to the umpire's assessment fund, 15% to the commissioner's fund, and only 15% to the ball clubs involved. But tonight, 85% goes to the ball clubs involved. Spezio draws a one-out walk. Second walk issued by Schmidt tonight. One on, one out with Kennedy coming up. And now with a little action going. 
The Anaheim bullpen will start to work again. Shields again. He was warming up back in second. The Giants got three runs in the first inning. RBI double by Bonds in the mix. Sack fly by Santiago and a bases loaded walk to Bell. Santiago again in the second with a two run hit and a sack fly by Sanders. Ball one to Kennedy. Here's a guy who hasn't pitched in three weeks. Scott Shields as David Getty will jog out and talk to Schmidt. I think one of the messages from Dave Rigetti to Jason Schmidt, walks create multi-run innings. Got the bottom part of the order, perhaps a pinch hitter, no more walks. This Sunday, Emmett goes for the record against the Seattle Seahawks, 93 yards shy of the NFL's all-time rushing record. It's on Fox NFL Sunday as Kennedy he grounded out to first. It's 5 out of 15 in this World Series. Waits for a 1-0. One ball, one strike. Terrell Owens with a Sharpie tucked in his sock. A hat on hanging out here at Pac-12 Park. That's too far inside. Did that incident get you all hot and bothered with Terrell Owens signing an autograph? Signed the football? Nah. Nah. Not really. And they're talking about you on Fox. Terrell, get your Sharpie out right now. Here's a 2-1. That's foul, two balls, two strikes. <laughs> You're on television. It's the World Series. <laughs> the lady in front of him. Feeling Terrell's thunder by standing up. The guy's on TV every weekend and he's all charged up about getting on TV. Two balls, two strikes, one on, one out. Schmidt to Kennedy. A foul ball. Kennedy has got one of the more unique swings. Not a big guy. But he has a full-blown uppercut swing. It's like he, he straightens up. You were talking about how Schmidt straightened up Kennedy last time. He goes from a crouch to a straight up and down swing. Seems to swing over a lot of pitchers. That's why he hooks a lot of balls in the first base dugout. Another 2-2 from Schmidt. Like that. Sounded like Kennedy broke his bat, and he did. He'll go get a new one. And is in no particular hurry to do it. So Santiago will walk out and talk to Schmidt. They asked Jose Molina, the brother of Benji Molina, two catchers for the Anaheim Angels, what the presence of a guy like Santiago means at his age being such a vital part to the San Francisco team. Benji Molina who's on deck right now his brother Jose was actually on the Cubs team when Santiago was there. So we got a chance to learn from him directly. Runner goes as Kennedy fouls it and one of the questions was answered in a pregame press conference that the Molina brothers all tried to copy how Santiago threw from his knees. He did it as a rookie back in 1987 and he still does it today. What 15 years later. Mm -hmm.
One on, one out. Two balls, two strikes. Kennedy trying to fight his way on. He's the second out and the seventh strikeout victim for Schmidt. You don't see too many hitters swing through a low fastball. But it gets Kennedy. Now Benji Molina, who has the thrill of guiding this Anaheim team and the pitching staff through the World Series and do it with his brother as his backup, Jose Molina, who we have not seen in this World Series. One on, two out. And that's popped up to the right side. Here's Benji talking about the thrill of going through this October with his brother by his side. You go back and, and think about when you were little kids and you were playing Nintendo and you are playing outside in the yard. You don't even imagine you're going to be in the same team in the World Series. I mean, it's something else. It's, it's an experience that I hope will last forever. I hope, I mean, and I know it will. So um, it is something out of, out of space, man. It's, it's, it's great. No balls, one strike. Benji pops it up, and that'll stay in play. Kent wants it. Kent has it. And the inning is over. A one-out walk to Spezio. And now the Angels have left five. It'll be Kent, Bonds, and Santiago for the Giants in the bottom of the fourth. They lead it by six. You've got one. You've probably got more than one. And chances are one of yours is one of ours. Because nobody in credit cards gives you Bank One's range of choices. You could use this one to get cash back. This one to fly. This one to show you care. Fact. Bank One gives you over 1,200 choices. Why do we go to all that trouble? Don't you think somebody should? Does a pair beat a straight? Yes. Four. Gina, three. <laughs> oh, she's been sending me pictures. Yeah. On the phone? Pictures of what? Things she can do. Oh. <laughs> I'm out. When you can send and take pictures on a wireless phone, that ought to do it. That's M Life from AT&T Wireless. Your mobile life made better. We should change before we pick up the girls. Okay. Chevy Avalanche. It changes from a pickup to an SUV. What are you doing? Avalanche. Like a rock. Hiya, honey. What are you doing here? I'm taking time for me. Shouldn't you be at the office? No, I'm smelling the roses. Wait a minute. Where'd you go for lunch? There's something so delicious about Wendy's Mozzarella Chicken Supreme with a whole breast filet mozzarella and parmesan sauce. How was it? Uplifting. It takes you and chicken to a higher level. Good. Now get back to work. Wendy's Mozzarella Chicken Supreme. It's better here. And our pickup window's open till midnight or later so you can eat great even late. Sorry, I got that receipt in here somewhere. Driver's license, bus transfer, dollar off fish sticks. Actually? Floss. <laughs> Just in case. Um, movie stub, mint. Actually, we keep everything right here. Just in case. Right. Just in case. People lose stuff. That's why we can store purchase and warranty information automatically, so you won't have to search anymore. Circuit City, we're with you. Floss. <laughs> Who flosses anyway? I floss. I floss too. Imagine being trapped in space. You lock everything that leaves below decks. Do it now! With no way to escape. We're going to run out of air. How long? A couple of hours, maybe. Firefly. All new. 8, 7 Central. Fox Friday. Jeff Kent first up. Bottom of the fourth. And a check swing. It didn't go. Ball one. Kent, then Bonds, then Santiago. Giants getting exactly what they hoped for out of Jason Schmidt. The Angels are not out of Jared Washburn as Kent gets under one and flies into Salmon and right. One away. We talked about 
what happened back on June 25th in San Diego between Jeff Kent and Barry Bonds. For fans watching the World Series and aren't familiar with the history between these two, the 2000 NL MVP and the 2001 NL MVP came together at the end of the second inning. Kent had come into the dugout and was critical of David Bell on a throw that he made in a double play situation. Bond sticking up for David Bell, and the two came face to face. They had had comments made to the press about one another. And to be honest with you, Kent is more public and open about not getting along with Bonds and vice versa. Kent has done long articles and made comments not shying away from the fact that the two who anchor the three four spots in this lineup don't really speak. The 2 0 pitch bonds two balls and a strike in fact Barry Bonds has said on the record that he believes and really hopes that the Giants will sign Jeff Kent that's right to a contract extension he's a free agent at the end of the year. The 2 1 pitch. Check swing and a little pop up into left field for Karen Anderson. And Bonds retired for the first time tonight. That was Stan Conti, the trainer, by the way, who was between Kent and Bonds. I think uh, people had a tendency to think that there was more to that because it was so public. But there are an awful lot of, and they genuinely do not like one another, but they're are an awful lot of things that go on between teammates over the course of a season that are never made public. Things in the clubhouse, things on team buses, on charters. The two out of strike is in at the knees to Santiago. The famous uh, fight on the charter of the athletics back in the early 70s between Angel Manguel and Blue Moon o Odom. And they were struggling, hot at one another. Had each other in a vice grip. Reggie Jackson said, leave him alone. Neither one of them are going to help help us anyway. When Dick Williams tried to break him up. <laughs> one of the great lads to defuse the whole thing. He said, they're not going to help us. Let them go at one another. These two guys are obviously the two vital members of this lineup. And again, it goes back to, I think, the credit that Dusty Baker deserves running this team. Yep. Getting these egos and these personalities to get along well enough to be productive on the field. He gives everybody their space. We were in his manager's office tonight when he was handing back fine money that he took earlier in the year from one of his pitchers. We didn't identify, but he said, Look, I missed some flights in my day. This guy missed a flight or a team bus. He's won a lot of games. We're in the World Series. I'll give him his fine money back. And really, it's, it's that touch that Baker has with these players that makes him invaluable to this Giants team. Santiago clumps one to left field. If it's fair, it's gone. It is foul. Benito Santiago, a couple of feet away from his third home run of the postseason. Body English. We also talked to Dusty about his policy in the dugout and on the field during batting practice and around his team. He has his young son Darren, a three-year-old, around him when the team is at home. Darren, by the way, is seven and zero, going on eight and zero when bat boying for the Giants. He says, "I just like it. it; keeps us loose in the dugout. I've always wanted to have a son." And to have a son around me in the dugout, these are days that I will never forget. Nor will Darren, the three-year-old. He stays hot. And the Giants are on a roll tonight. They lead six to nothing after four. Back after this from your local Fox Station. I'm Christine Devine. Tonight at 10, police may have finally caught the sniper, but did tips from the suspect lead to his own capture? Then... I'm Jennifer Gould, and the Angels are getting ready to bring the World Series back home to Anaheim. We're going to talk to them live tonight on the Fox 11, 10 o'clock news. Hey, I'm trying to get to the fight. Could you give me directions? Sure. Just uh, go up here to the giant pirate ship. 
You're going to veer left by the light volcano. You're going to pass the Eiffel Tower. But if you get to the Egyptian pyramids, you went too far, okay? There's no place quite like Vegas. Fly Southwest Airlines from the LA area to Las Vegas for just $19. You are now free to move about the country. Energy Star compact fluorescent bulbs only need to be changed about every five years. So they save you time and create less trash. And since they use up to 75% less power, they save on energy costs. So let's see, saving time, saving energy, saving money, helping our environment. Not bad for a night's work. Saving energy, it's a way of life. for this lamp. That is because you're crazy. It has no feelings. And the new one is much better. into the top of the fifth inning six to nothing here in game number five. Well you look fantastic. <laughs> huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> hey what do you want? I, I didn't expect you to say that. I know that's why I said no, I know it. Uh, so Dusty Baker is he moving on after this year he talked about it before the game they asked him Dusty when he woke up this morning did you think about this potentially being your last day in the Giants dugout here at home in Pac Bell Park. And he said, yes, I thought about it, but it's not a time to be melancholy. We've got a chance to win the World Series. We'll deal with that later. So he doesn't really give on any of that. He doesn't say, well, we'll just see how it is at the end of the year. I, I think Dusty at one point was turned off by the way the Giants handled the situation and may end up elsewhere next year or been talked about lately might take a year off and kind of clear any health issues and clear his mind and then start fresh in what 2004 that story uh, of Dusty Baker the conflict of sorts with Peter McGowan the principal owner was spawned in a San Francisco magazine article about two and a half months ago Palmero gets his first hit of the postseason as he rips one off the wall and right He's going to test Sanders down six to nothing and make it. Orlando Palmero batting for Jared Washburn starts this fifth inning off with the Angels first extra base hit of the night. First hit in postseason. It looked like a change up that was down. Orlando hammers it to right field. And even though the Angels six run down they have still been aggressive on the bases. This is a very tough ballpark in which to come back. Most parts you say get a couple of guys on and then boom a three run homer will put you back in this park once again only 114 home runs over the course of the season the fewest in the major leagues. Runner at second with nobody out X time. Makes the ball low. Do I think Dusty Baker will be back. No I don't. I think Dusty Baker will end up as the manager of the Seattle Mariners next year. I agree. And that comes literally with us having never talked about it with Dusty Baker right. down in the managerial meetings that baseball provides us with during the postseason. Reported today that Luke Pinella, the ex Seattle Mariner manager, has signed with the Tampa Bay Devil Rays, and that Art Howe, formerly with the Oakland Athletics, has signed a four year deal with the New York Mets. Runner at second, nobody out. Ken Maka. And as the musical chairs start shifting around, going to take over the reins 
with the Oakland A's, and then that takes a potential candidate away from Milwaukee, Chicago, and other spots where there's an opening. Maka has been hot property. Here's a 2-1 pitch. That's the third foul. Two and two on Eckstein. It's going to be interesting to see if Baker is in back, how the next manager, whoever he is, handles Barry Bonds with this Giants team because Bonds is on his own program with four lockers, his own stereo system, his own recliner, keeping to himself for the most part around this San Francisco team. Here's a 2-2 pitch with a runner at second, nobody out. Another foul by Exton. Dusty Baker, tremendously popular in the San Francisco area. Ten years at the helm of the Giants. Outside of his father, he'll tell you the man who had the biggest influence on him as a baseball player was Hank Aaron. We got a chance to play with early in his career, and at one point, batted behind Hank Aaron. Dusty Baker was on deck when Hank Aaron hit home run number 715. Here's a 2 2 to Eckstein again. And a third under the glove or off the glove of Bell to put two on with nobody out. A double by the pinch hitter Palmero. And now that ground ball which finds its way into left field to put runners at the corners. Peck, peck, peck. Here come the Angels. First and third, nobody out. That ball took a tricky hop and over the thumb of the glove of David Bell. So it's going to be a hit because of that hop. Second hit for Eckstein, who's been on base three times tonight. Did a little shaggy move from Scooby-Doo, spinning his feet. His first couple of steps couldn't get there. And then that tricky hop, it is indeed a base hit, a double, a single, and now Erstad with Salmon and Anderson to follow as the Angels could make this interesting here in a quick, in a quick, quick hurry. First and third, nobody out. And that's driven into right field, off the end of the bat. Palmero will tag and score, and back to first is Eckstein. As the Angels are on the board, it's 6-1, to one, a sack fly by Erstad. That sacrifice fly made both teams happy. The Angels score a run, and the Giants want the out. And now Tim Salmon will be the hitter. Salmon has struck out twice tonight. Last time he did it, with runners at first and third and only one out. Up the middle, base hit. Eckstein will turn and try to go to third. The throw by Lofton is too late. It's first and third, one out on a hit by Salmon. Taking advantage of the weak throwing arm of Kenny Lofton. It's the only part of Lofton's game, that in power, that he doesn't have. Kent diving for this ball, goes under his glove, and Eckstein makes it to third. High throw by Lofton, too much of an arc. Bit of a gamble, but not much. That jump from first base allowed him to get to third base. And with one out this early in the game, it's worth getting over to third. And it's first and third with Garrett Anderson and Gloss coming up. David Eckstein going first to third as these Angels have done the entire month of October. Here's David Eckstein talking about it. That's something that for us from day one in spring training that if you ever have the opportunity to go first or third, you're going to take the, take the opportunity. If you get thrown out, you get thrown out, but you always be aggressive. You don't ever want to stop at second when you can have the opportunity to go to third, and that comes straight from the coach. Straight from social. Excuse me, Joe. Anytime you have a ground ball between the second baseman and the bag, go to third. That's a rule of thumb. So it's first and third with one out. 
And Garrett Anderson at the plate. Strike one. The virtual manager questioned by Sprint. And the answer, should the Giants re-sign Dusty Baker, 78% say yes. Those in the 22%, I'm guessing, are logging on from Los Angeles. Or Seattle. Or Seattle, <laughs> or Colorado, or San Diego, or Arizona. Here's an 0-1. That gets behind Santiago. Great break by Eckstein, and it's 6-2. David Eckstein on his toes, ready to run, and that ball, if it got on the grass, barely got on the grass behind the plate, and it's a four-run game. On his right foot. When the ball is in the hitting area, you're on your right foot, ready to move. David Eckstein gets a base hit to set up a run at third, and now with some super base running, scores the Angels' second run. It's a wild pitch. Watch how he's leaning on that right foot, walking lead, boom. Now a runner at second as Salmon advanced, and Anderson strikes out, two out. Strikeout number eight for Schmidt. So here the Angels score a run on a strikeout. Eckstein going to third setting up going home on the wild pitch. So even though Anderson becomes the eighth strikeout victim, Eckstein created that run. Chad Zerbe was so good in game two for the Giants getting loose. Now it's Gloss. Ball one. Donnelly getting loose for the Angels in their bullpen. It was Shields earlier. Now that it's a little tighter, only a four-run game. Mike Sosha is not going to run Scott Shields out there for the first time in a month. He has not appeared the entire postseason, and it's 2-0 and on Gloss. What Schmidt was doing to Troy Gloss, his first two at-bats, throwing him fastballs up and in. He has struck out twice swinging. Now it becomes a different matter because Gloss is ahead in the count. Salmon at second, two out. A four-run giant lead. What a swing by Gloss, and it's two and one. Well, he just missed that fastball out over the plate. Seven home runs in the postseason. A fat one to hit and fouled it back. Loss and Bonds each with seven. Low, it's three and one with Spezio on deck. Schmidt, how frisky do you want to be on a 3-1 count? The guy who's hit seven home runs in the postseason. Leading by four. Good pitch inside part, belt high, full count. That pitch did not give Gloss a chance to extend his arms. It crowds him on the inside corner. Back here. Look at Troy Gloss. Ted Williams used to say you could smell the ball coming off the bat. Drilled into 
into left field. Back at the wall, off the wall. In to score is Salmon. Down to second is Gloss, and it's a 6-3 game. Only because of the roof of that car out in left field did that ball stay in play and not leave the park. It looked like it was high enough to get out, but because of that ad out in left field, the ball that Gloss just hit stayed in play instead of making it a two-run game. Let's see if that is the case. Maybe about rearview mirror high. Yeah. Yep. So it was over three quarters of the way up the wall, but it stayed in. And now Gloss at second with two out for Spezio. And a hit could make it a two run game. Salmon with a hit in the inning. He scores on the double by Gloss, who hit a laser into left field. A predictable pitch selection count. Gloss fouled off the 2 0 pitch. He fouled off the 3 2 pitch before he hammered that double. I don't know how that one smelled, but it sure tasted sweet for Angels fans. Largest deficit they've overcome to win five runs. The Angels have done that three times. That includes game three of the division series against the Yankees. That was in Anaheim with Messina pitching. It's a 6-3 game. Runner at second, two out, and a 1-0 pitch. Spezio off the end of the bat foul. One ball, one strike. Oh, you mentioned the Yankees. It was the Yankees who trailed the Atlanta Braves at game four, the 1996 World Series in the sixth inning. They trailed six to nothing. They scored three in the sixth, set it up for the Larrett's home run, and then won it when Wade Boggs the last available regular player walked with the bases loaded in extra inning to win it seven to six. Washburn, the starter, is finished. Lifted for the pinch hitter Palmero to start this inning, and he started it with a double. Next time, a big part of it again. And the one one. Two balls and a strike. Runner at second, two out. And now that's ball three. That was either a change up or a breaking ball. On a two ball and one count, two ball and one ball count. So now the Angels, even though they trailed by six coming in, have Schmidt pitching defensively. Already up over 100 pitches. This game is only in the fifth. The left hander, Serby. He is loose with the left handed hitting Kennedy on deck. The 3 1 to Spezio. That's ball four down and in. Two on with two out. Kennedy coming up, and Baker is coming out. That's the third walk of the night by Schmidt, and that may be his last pitch of the evening. Dusty Baker has not made the call to Zerbe. Now he has. And that's it for Schmidt, who cannot get through five innings despite a six to nothing lead after two. It started with a pinch hit double by Palmero. Eckstein involved. Salmon involved. Eckstein scoring on a wild pitch. And then Gloss. It's a 6 3 game, two on, two out. Zerbe coming in. That was one of the coolest scenes I'd ever seen in a movie. From that point on, I was hooked. I'm a huge Mustang fan. 
A lot of people have accused me of having gasoline in my vein because of that. That's the kind of absolute soul that you can't fake. If I could have one car the rest of my life, I'd have a red Mustang convertible with a throaty V8 and a great sound system. To me, life doesn't get any better than that. Now, there is no up or down. Introducing Mach 3 Turbo. Total comfort whether you shave down or up. A new anti-friction coating on all three blades. Plus a new strip releases even more lubrication. So even against the grain, you get less irritation and the closest shave. It's turning the shaving world upside down. Mach 3 Turbo, new from Gillette. Try new Gillette Series Shave Gel and get skin care with every shave. So how's it coming? Good. This one looks pretty exotic. Cool. Mosquito nets. Maybe not that exotic. Great. Everything you need to choose the hotel that's right for you. Expedia. Oh boy. Uh oh. For when you need it most. Uh oh. Our longest lasting Energizer Max ever. What was that? Energizer Max. Do you have the bunny inside? Introducing three grilled favorites on one sizzling skillet. Fajita chicken, shrimp, and barbecued ribs. Chili's new fajita trio. Chicken legs. They're undercover cops with too much money. It's cool with men. Too many toys. Are you kidding me? Much too much. What happened to you? And that Chad Zerbe into the game. Two on, two out. Adam Kennedy takes ball one. Zerbe in game two was outstanding. He ended up going four innings out of the bullpen, allowing one earned run. Four hits. Runners on at first and second with two out. Kennedy. One ball, one strike. The Giants got three runs in the first, three runs in the second. The Angels have put up three here in the fifth. Loss, the latest RBI. A walk to Spezio. And that was the end of the night for Schmidt, who lasts only four and two thirds. Still responsible for the two on. Good pitch, strike two. Breaking ball for a strike. I don't think in the regular season, Jason Schmidt would be pulled from this game. This is not the regular season. One out away from having a chance to get a win. Derby tries to finish the top of the fifth. That's foul. And Kennedy breaks another bat. Eighth man to bat in the inning. Tying run at the plate for Anaheim. Kennedy with four home runs this postseason. Into center field, Lofton back. And the inning is over. The Angels climb back in and knock out the San Francisco starter Schmidt. Zerbe gets the final out. A three run fifth for the Angels who trail by three. There's a place that I travel when I want to roam, and nobody knows it but me. The roads don't go there, and the signs stay home, and nobody knows it but me. It's far, far away, and way, way afar. It's over the moon and the sea. And wherever you're going, that's wherever you are. And nobody knows it but me. Chevy Tau, like a rock. On November 22nd. My friends call me James. My friends call me James Bond. Live for the moment. Are you a gambling man? If the stakes are right. What happened to you? Bond. And die. 
Another day. Let's get down to business. Who sent you? Your mama. Pierce Brosnan, Halle Berry. Looks like we're going down together. Not yet! Die Another Day. Rated PG-13. Starts November 22nd. Radio Shack is the place people go for specialty batteries for all kinds of things. Choose from over a thousand batteries. Radio Shack has more power. Radio Shack. Series on Fox is brought to you by MGM's Die Another Day, starring Pierce Brosnan, rated PG-13. By Viagra, step up to the plate and ask your doctor if the free sample of Viagra is right for you. And by John Hancock, official sponsor of Major League Baseball. Brendan Donnelly takes over his ninth game this postseason after Washburn went the first four. Our in-game box score brought to you by Chevy Trucks. The Giants, Lofton has been a big part of the two three-run innings. Jeff Kent with a hit. Barry Bonds with an RBI double. An intentional walk, two runs scored. Santiago with three RBIs tonight. And Reggie Sanders with an intentional pass and a sack fly. Here's Sanders now leading off the bottom of the fifth against Donnelly as Molina is going to go out and talk. Check of the scorecard, the pitcher spot is two up second in the sixth inning. And it was a straight move by Mike Socia to put Donnelly in the game. So this could be the only inning Donnelly works. Ball one. Sanders was intentionally walked back in the first inning. That backfired on the Angels. As Washburn followed that with a walk to J.T. Snow to load him up. And a bases loaded walk to David Bell to make it three to nothing. Ball and a strike. This proves how things are different in this World Series for Reggie Sanders than they were in the NLCS. Lefty, righty didn't matter. The Cardinals were coming after Sanders who was only one out of 16 in that series and admitted that he was pressing in the LCS pretty good rip at that pitch but in the hole one and two then you think about how he started this World Series Sanders homered in game one walked singled scored a run and in game two hit a three run home run had another hit there's the turnaround as he leads off the bottom of the fifth One two pitch two and two snow will follow then bell if anybody gets on the pitcher spot Good swing by Sanders. Giants trying to go back to work. 
Leading by only three, and Sanders hooks one down the left field line. In the corner. Foul. That landed in about the same spot as Benito Santiago's foul ball. Hooking, hooking. That same area. Everybody getting fist on it. But it went foul, and now Sanders strikes out. Our Pepsi fan cam here in the fifth inning. The music of John Lee Hooker. Boom, 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 boom. Some of Dusty Baker's favorite music this being the last game of this World Series in San Francisco. And when this World Series moves back down the coast to Southern California, we will give Mike Sosha his chance to pick the music for the Pepsi fan camp in Anaheim. Here's JT Snow. Ball one. Snow is walked and flied out. Five for 16 in this World Series. That caught the corner, according to Mike Riley. Not JT Snow, one and one. Off the front foot or leg. One ball, two strikes. J.T. Snow wearing that half shin guard oh, on his leg. front leg, and he hits the ball off his back leg. You don't see that too often because most hitters hit the ball out in front of the plate. In order to hit the back leg, you have to be fooled on the pitch and hit it behind the plate. So the count, one ball, two strikes with one out, nobody on. Donnelly with one idea and Molina with another on what to throw on one and two. And so they'll talk. Talk about Dusty Baker, he is such a jazz fan. He will talk to you about jazz as long as he'll talk to you about baseball. What an area for that. All the musicians, the great musicians that have come from the San Francisco area. It's really how he rates a lot of the cities that the Giants visit during the course of the season. How good is the music? Here's a one-two pitch. Pitch falling away, and Snow is the second out here in the bottom of the fifth. That looked like a splitter that acted like a screwball. Either that or a two-seam fastball to get J.T. Snow. That ball going away from Snow, and it was a splitter. So now with the bases empty, here's David Bell. Tim mentioned in Anaheim in the sixth inning we'll have Molina the number eight hitter then Donnelly's spot will come up and the next time and Donnelly doing his part trying to keep it a three run game. Now Felix Rodriguez going down to warm up for the Giants. Perhaps if David Bell gets an extra base hit here, Dusty Baker with a chance to drive in another run. Oh boy. 
right above the left knee of JT Snow. It was a slider or cut fastball right on the side of the thigh. JT has had knee problems. Bell takes a slider for a strike and it's one and two. It's going to be a long night for both bullpen. Donnelly the first of many for Anaheim and Zerby had to relieve Schmidt. Who would have thought with the way Schmidt started this game and with that kind of a lead six to nothing. Schmidt would not be able to get through five. Zerby came on to get Adam Kennedy. Strand two runners on at the top of this fifth. Bell with two out, nobody on. Able to get a piece. The thing about Brendan Donnelly, he does not throw a lot of balls down the middle of the plate, in and out. We talked about east and west and how effective pitchers could be throwing outside, inside. Donnelly does it very, very well. Pitching this series, the starters for the Angels at 9.14 ERA. Giants almost eight and three quarters and the relievers, no surprise. The bullpen, a big reason why each team has advanced to the World Series. The 2 2 pitch to the right side. Spezio, and the inning is over. A quiet inning for the Giants. And we go into the sixth. Bottom part of the order coming up for the Angels. And it's 6 3 San Francisco. Boom, 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 boom. Shoot your head down. What is it, Daddy? I think it's a cocoon. One big cocoon. Excitement has reached a fever pitch. Crowds gather, trying to catch a glimpse of the cocoon. The cocoon, friend or foe, go. It's big. Ugly and different. Oh, it's unique. It's amazing. It's very exciting. This just in, cocoons are now being sighted across the country. And all we know is it's one big cocoon. It's a butterfly. Oh, it's one big butterfly, son. Hey, how's it going? A whole new internet service has landed. Introducing MSN 8, bringing you better email, smart parental controls, and tougher junk mail protection. It's better with the butterfly. New MSN 8. You've got one. You've probably got more than one. And chances are one of yours is one of ours. Because nobody in credit cards gives you Bank One's range of choices. You could use this one to get cash back. This one to fly. This one to show you care. Fact. Bank One gives you over 1,200 choices. Why do we go to all that trouble? Don't you think somebody should? I hate it when he does that. Sorry about the dust. <laughs> After the new roomy seven-passenger Chevy Trailblazer, everything else just seems kind of weak. Ah, I left the bagels in the jet. The new Chevy Trailblazer, like a rock. The World Series on Fox is brought to you by Chevy Trucks, the most dependable, longest-lasting trucks on the road. And by new MSN 8. It's better with the Butterfly. MSN 8, more useful every day. Up above the overhead shots of the 2002 World Series provided by the Saturn Lightship. The team at Saturn hopes you're enjoying this unique look from high above San Francisco. From downtown of Alcatraz, Bay Bridge, the Golden Gate Bridge, Pac-12 Park. 
And now we move to the sixth inning. Benji Molina first up. Benji Gill is in the on deck circle. And a ball up and into Molina from Zerbe. Dad tucking in Darren Shirt while Zerbe serves up a leadoff base hit up the middle. David Bell fouled out to end the bottom of the fifth. And little Darren Baker had a reaction that at one point early in Dusty's life got him kicked off his own dad's team. <laughs> and little Darren got rid of the helmet in frustration, in disgust. Dusty was cut from his dad's Little League team three times, twice for throwing equipment. Darren will learn that lesson eventually from dad. Yes, he will. Here's Benji Gill, one on with nobody out. Gill batting for Donnelly, who went one perfect inning with two strikeouts. How much are we paying that guy, Dad? We need hits. A bag of grapes. And a front row seat. The 0 1 pitch to Gill. Lined into center field. Loft and back. It is off his glove and to the wall. Going to third, Molina. Into second is Gill. And it's second and third. Nobody out. Ball misplayed by Kenny Lofton. It is often said the ball right at the center fielder, the toughest ball to field, but Lofton hesitated. 1,001, 1,002, a ball that should have been caught. And now the Angels are knock, knock, knocking like the Giants did last night. They had twice the hill to climb. On Ortiz going. This gives him a real chance right here. But you can see that hesitation on Lofton. He didn't pick that ball up right away. How about Benji Gill now? Eight for 12 Man. in the postseason. Started last night in place of Kennedy because of the left-handed starter Reader and was two for three. And he pinch hits here after the hit by Molina, a double. And it's second and third. Nobody out for Eckstein, who has been on base three times tonight with two hits and a walk. Because Erstad is in the on deck circle, Zerbe stays in to face Eckstein. A guy like Eckstein, nobody out. If he hits the ball to the right side, you score the runner and move the, sec the runner at second to third. We saw Eckstein do that the other night with two strikes. Move the ball to the right side. Two for the price of one if he does it here. On the inside corner, Eckstein hit by 27 pitches during the regular season is right on top of the plate. And if one is headed for him, he doesn't give. That's a foul ball as it hit off Eckstein while he was in the box. And we'll take another look as Santiago comes out from behind the plate with his palms up saying, hey, wait a minute, that ball didn't hit Eckstein. Let's see if it did. Yep, caught him on the left shin. Yeah, that's a spot that a catcher can't see. Angel Hernandez was the one who came down and made the call. A very good call, too. He had a better angle than the home plate umpire. Second and third, nobody out. A ball and two strikes on Eckstein. To the plate is Molina. Out at first is Eckstein. And the other runner, Gill, advances to third. One out, and it's a two-run game. 
There's Eckstein making it out, but a productive out as both runners advance. Two for the price of one. Molina scores easily. Benji Gill, again the rule of thumb, if you're the runner at second base, the ball is hit at you or to you left. You go to third, and Gill did. Good job by Eckstein. So now it's Erstad with a runner. Gill at third and only one out. And a long meeting between Jeff Kent and Chad Zerbe. Finally breaks up as the home plate umpire Mike Riley was on his way out. Schoenweiss will take over for the Angels in the bottom of the sixth. A 6-4 game. Slow roller, right side, two out. And the runner kill has to hold. What a play by Zerpe. Not only tagging the runner, realizing maybe that if he goes to first base, Gill could score. Gill comes off a bit. Now, if Zerby goes to first base right there, maybe Gill could score. But by tagging him, no chance. Great reaction by Zerby. Watch him look toward third. A huge out picked up by Zerby as he will exit. A double switch. Felix Rodriguez is coming in. So Zerby holds the runner at third. It's still a two-run San Francisco lead with Felix Rodriguez coming in. and I said get a movie you know something old I heard get a monkey with a cold <laughs> a monkey yes. it's not his fault it's the cellular static here now you can get clear calls and do more because Sprint built the large stall digital all PCS enhanced nationwide network from the ground up for clarity you could see and hear oh look at that thanks what about the monkey plenty of fluids and he'll be fine for $30 a month get 300 anytime and unlimited night and weekend PCS minutes from Sprint I am Emmett Smith. I'm Emmett Smith. I'm Emmett Smith. I am Emmett Smith. I am Emmett Smith. No, really, I am. Worried that the you shopping online isn't really you? That's why there's Verified by Visa, a security service that helps protect Visa cards from unauthorized online use with a personal password. This service is only available on select Visa cards issued by participating financial institutions. I am Emmett Smith. Please! <laughs> to learn more and to check if your card is eligible for this service, go to visa.com slash verified. The answers we take for granted are the ones he'd give anything to know. Are you saying that you have amnesia but seem to know everything else? Ask me a question. How many M&Ms coming up? Playing 60, Peter 25. First line in Macbeth. When shall we three meet again? Do the phone book again. White or yellow? This fall, one man will use his extraordinary gifts. I reverse encrypted their firewall with a pseudo IP and deconstructed a telling of the viral protocol. To solve the crimes no one else can. Was your husband a vegetarian? No. Then this is not your husband. And unlock the greatest mystery of all. The more bizarre a thing looks, the simpler the explanation. Who he is. John Doe. An all new episode at 9 8 Central Fox Friday. The double switch has Siyoshi Shinjo out in right field, batting in the number nine spot. Pitching and batting sixth is Felix Rodriguez. Interesting double switch because that means Shinjo will lead off the bottom of the sixth inning. And the minute Mike Socia found that out, he got Ben Weber up. And while Rodriguez was warming, Weber was warming. So it could be the right-handed Weber instead of showing once. Right now it's Tim Salmon at the plate representing the tying run facing Felix Rodriguez. But we took deep for the game-winning home run in game two. Runner at third, two out, ball one. Bottom of the eighth, a two out, two run shot. 
That made it 11-9 and ended 11-10 after the Bonds home run. Gill with a pinch hit double in this inning. Off the glove of Lofton in center. 6-4, Giants to sixth. And it's 2-0 on Salmon. Felix Rodriguez has been involved in every game of this World Series. Salmon looking for a pitch to drive on 2-0. Three and zero with Garrett Anderson next. Last forty games, including the games in October, a five and one record with an ERA of one point six six. The one loss came compliments of Tim Salmon. Who hits one to third. One hop to Bell. Inning over. The Angels draw one run closer. A hit by Molina. A pinch double by Gill. And the RBI ground out by David Eckstein. We go to the bottom of the sixth inning. 6-4 Six Giants. This Halloween, it's an ocean liner. the ship that went through hell Gosh, yeah. has come to take you back. <laughs> Ghost Ship, rated R, starts tomorrow. Some say he's still out wandering these hills, looking for his lost head. It's a true story. Okay, time to go to bed. For when you need it most. Uh oh. Our longest lasting Energizer Max ever. What was that? Energizer Max. Do you have the bunny inside? <laughs> Sweater for Ann M. $80 online. Dog dish for Toto. $20 online. Fabulous shoes. $150 online. Knowing you're safe when you shop online. Priceless. With MasterCard Zero Liability, you're protected from unauthorized purchases. There are some things money can't buy. For everything else, there's MasterCard. What's your name again? My name is Gabriella. Gabriella Angelina Davila. What a pretty name. I'm your daughter, Gabriella. It's a nice house you have. So I'm very happy here. I'm glad you're happy, Mom. All right. I take batting practice. I take infield practice. I take Viagra. Ask your doctor if Viagra's right for you and visit Viagra.com for more information. Step up to the plate and make an appointment to see your doctor. Introducing the versatile all-wheel drive Subaru Baja. Part car, part truck. All choice. When you get it, you get it. Bottom of the sixth inning, Shinjo leads it off. And Ben Weber, who just started to get loose, as Tim mentioned, when the Giants brought in Felix Rodriguez in the top of the inning, deals strike one. That's foul. Straight up 8 o'clock here in the West, 11 o'clock back east. Joe Buck, Tim McCarver, Michael Weissman, Bill Webb, our director. A game that started out with the Giants getting three runs in the first inning. Bonds with an RBI double and a run scored. Three more in the second. Stake Jason Schmidt to a 6 to nothing lead. It's now 6 to 4. And we're only in the bottom of the sixth inning of game five with this series even at two games apiece. 
Ninth game this postseason for Weber. Shinjo, Lofton, and Aurelia for the Giants who lead 6-4. Still one and two. Inside corner, one out. Kenny Lofton will step to the plate. Five hits in his last seven trips to the plate. He's been hitting line drives, and he dropped down that all-important bunt in last night's game. The infield hit his first last night. The clean single through the right side, and then the bunt for the hit. It was fair. Foul and then fair when Gloss touched it. And tonight, two more hits to start the first, to start the second. He scored each inning. And now he bats with one out, nobody on in the sixth. It takes a strike as he was backing out, taking all the way. Third time through the order, the Giants 0 for 9. After pounding Washburn early. Now 0 for 10 as Lofton is retired for the second time. Meanwhile, the Angels are trying to do to the Giants what the bullpen of the Giants did to the Angels last night. Donnelly for one perfect inning, and now Ben Weber has retired the first two he's faced in the sixth. Again last night in game four, the Angels got one in the second, two in the third, and then Reeder. Felix Rodriguez, Tim Worrell, and Rob Nen face the minimum the rest of the way. Here's Aurelia with two out and nobody on for the Giants, who lead by two. Slider misses, ball one. The Angels in the seventh will have Anderson, Gloss, and Spezio. Against Felix Rodriguez. Bullpen not active for the Giants at the moment. Off the glove of Gloss for a base hit. Gloss off the line, the ball hooking back to him just off the webbing. In a weird way, if the Angels get Jeff Ken out, it could be good for them because now you face Bonds, and I would imagine Schoenweiss would face it with nobody on base. Right now, Schoenweiss is not warming up, which is interesting. With Bonds on deck, one on, two out, and strike one on Kent. Sean Weiss was getting ready last inning. I'm sure it wouldn't take much to get him loose again. But depending on what Jeff Kent does here, he may be in a spot. Unless Mike Sosha has already made up his mind that here in the sixth inning, no matter what, the Angels are going to put Bonds on and work to Santiago. I guess that's the conclusion you have to draw and showing Weiss is not getting ready. Yeah, even if the Giants have runners on at first and second. One on, two out, and Kent into left field. Anderson back at the wall, it's gone. Home run, Kent. 8-4 Giants.
wrecking ball from Weber. Now an 0-1 to Bonds with two out. Into left center field. That ball's going to plug the gap and scoop to the wall. Bonds has his second double of the night. Shooting one in the left center. Why is Mike Socia going to walk Benito Santiago? Because Felix Rodriguez, the pitcher, is scheduled to hit in the six hole. So the intentional pass is Weber almost uncorked a wild pitch on ball one. This will put two on with two out, and right now Sean Dunstan. Is making his way to the on deck circle to bat for Felix Rodriguez. Means that Tim Worrell, who is loosening in a hurry, is going to have to come in and work in the seventh, which is a bit earlier than he's used to. Maybe seven and eight. On the home run by Kent, the hitting coach Gene Klein is wearing a mic. A lot of pitchers talk about the fact that from the stretch they can't get the break on their sliders or curveballs like they can from the windup. They don't have a high leg kick. That could have been the problem with Weber then. You could see Molina setting up outside and we have said before that when a catcher is off the plate away and moves the glove back toward the middle of the plate generally it spells trouble for the pitcher. And it was big trouble for the Angels as Ken hit the two run homer. Sean Dunstan came out, was going to the plate, and then was called back to the bench. And it was nothing more really than a stall tactic to talk to Dunstan to allow Tim Worrell more time to get loose in the bullpen. Two on, two out. Dunstan takes a strike. Tim Worrell is just now starting to work to the bullpen catcher down in a crouch. After finishing long tossing to try to get his arm loose on this cool night. Felix Rodriguez spot the number six position came up in a hurry. Here in the sixth inning it's eight four Giants. In game five. Strike two on Dunstan. Bombs the lead runner. Santiago the trail runner after the intentional walk and it's 0 2 on Dunstan. Still 0 2.
Everything starting so innocently for the Giants here in the sixth inning. Two outs and then a single off the glove of Gloss by Aurelia and a two run shot by Kent. Ball one to Dunstan. Part of the kids crew in the dugout for the Giants. Dunstan strikes out. During the regular season, Jeff Kent hit 37 home runs, one of the most productive second basemen in Major League Baseball history. Here in the Giants' 15th postseason game, he gets his second home run, opens the lead back to four after six, back after this from your local Fox station. This is John Beard. Tonight at 10. His other driver blocked the entrance so they couldn't get out. Truckers at a rest stop corner the sniper suspects. Plus, a 14-year-old girl leads police on a wild high-speed chase in a stolen SUV. We'll show you the amazing video tonight at 10. Turning raw metal into pure gold isn't easy. Unless it's Chevy Truck Month with 000. 0% zero, zero. Zero APR. Zero down payment. Zero payments on every new O2 and O3 Chevy truck in stock until 2003. Plus, right now, get $500 bonus cash. It's a new gold rush. Stake your claim. See your Southern California Chevrolet dealer. Never throw away anything you can use to express yourself. Including your unused minutes. Rollover, only from Singular. At Bank of the West, we've been here in the West since 1874. And people keep asking us how we've done it, while so many other banks have come and gone. Well, here's our secret. We've gotten bigger by acting smaller. Now, we admit that thinking about what's best for the customer isn't always the rule in the banking industry. Don't worry, you'll get used to it. The Kia Spectra, an affordable car that comes available with a lot of features you'll really like, such as power everything, CD stereo, and a 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty, and one feature you'll love. Everyone who gets a 2003 Spectra can get $1,500 cash back. Visit your Southern California Kia retailers. Hurry. Offer ends soon. We move to the seventh inning here in Game 5. Aerial coverage of the entire 2002 World Series, courtesy of Saturn and the Saturn Light Ship. Keep your eye on the sky when the Saturn Light Ship visits a major sporting event near you. Seventh inning now, Joe Buck and Tim McCarver. And uh, Tim, it looked like it was starting to slip away from the San Francisco Giants. Jeff Kent steps up and takes the biggest swing of the night so far in the bottom of the sixth inning. Yeah, after the single off the glove of Troy Gloss, the two run home run by Kent, his second postseason home run. Hit it off Ben Weber. And now the Giants may ask for two innings out of Tim Worrell tonight. Usually save him for the eighth, but having to lift Felix Rodriguez for the pinch hitter Dunstan. That's Worrell in the seventh, and he falls behind Anderson 2 0. Gloss and Spezio, the next two hitters. Already 11 games this postseason for Tim Worrell, who has three wins. He was the winner last night when he pitched a scoreless top of the eighth and 
David Bell got the game winning RBI in the bottom of the eighth. Anderson pops it up. Third base side. Long run Bell. One out. Here's Gloss who's doubled home a run and struck out twice against another right hander but a very different type pitcher Jason Schmidt. Schmidt cannot be the winner in this game five he did not last five innings. Strike one. Tim Warrell, elbow transplant surgery in 1995. Two on Gloss. Tim was a starter then. This one getting a piece of Benito Santiago. He continues to get rattled around back there. Off the mask and then off the shoulder. The one off the shoulder hurt. Like a pinball machine. Here's an O2 to Gloss. That's a let's stay at the plate swing from Troy Gloss. It's still 0 2. That's also the spot. That Tim Worrell has had a tough time throwing to right handed batters and even to left handed batters is outside because he can't finish his pitches since the surgery. That one off the plate away. Another 0 2 pitch. Here's a one two pitch again to Gloss. Two out as Gloss strikes out. After three fastballs, the changeup gets Gloss. A little different look right there. You could see that changeup again gripped by the ring finger. Whenever that ring finger is involved, the changeup's coming. Now it's Spezio who has walked twice and struck out. And a strike on the outside corner. The rally monkey. Going through some tough days here in San Francisco. Espizio grounds to first. Snow will take it. And a perfect seventh inning from Tim Warrell. Time to stretch in game five. The Giants will bat. They lead it by four. The new Silverado is here. Now with Quadra Steer four-wheel steering, it's the most maneuverable full-size pickup you can get. Silverado, the truck from Chevy. In the new Alcatraz, the biggest problem isn't breaking out. What are you packing? This. 
You want to play rough? Sorry, I'm not in demand. It's dealing with the guys who just broke in. It's party, boys! Why are you doing this? $200 million worth of U.S. gold. Hey! What's going on? We got a problem. Hey, go my mama! Bang, 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 bang. Half past dead. That's what I'm talking about. Bang. Rated PG-13. Opens November 15th. Taco Bell's grilled steak taco tastes so authentic, you may exhibit... Carne asada bravado. It's carne asada steak tacos. Oh, yes. It's an old family recipe. Yeah. I did. I made it myself. I thought he was Irish. Shh. He's on a roll. The grilled steak taco. Tender slices of steak marinated in Mexican spices and grilled to perfection. For a taste that's irresistible. For authentic carne asada steak, think outside the bun. The New York Post says Cedric is laugh out loud funny. All new Fox Wednesday. Sunday, November 3rd. Get ready for the freakiest Simpsons Halloween special ever. Ooh, you're actually quite gentle when you want to be. You're not helping. Where a mad scientist fuses man with beast. All you can do is eat and sleep and mate and roll around in your bills. Where do I sign up? It's technology gone terribly wrong. How do you like being a walrus, Dad? I haven't been this skinny since high school. The all-new Simpsons Treehouse of Horror at 8, 7 Central. Followed by the King of the Hill season premiere Sunday, November 3rd on Fox. The World Series on Fox is brought to you by Taco Bell. Think outside the bun. Outside the stadium in McCovey Cove is that target provided by Taco Bell. And it's sinking. It's taking on water. It's lighting. So the target is made... That much smaller. Running out of time as this is only good, obviously, for the games in San Francisco. Where's DiCaprio? He knows what to do. Emmett Smith going Emmett. for the record this weekend. He was he was our main guy in that one game against yeah, Green Bay. We go, we go feature Moose as our dot the eye back. And we, we hammered you up here about 30 times. Yeah. yeah. You carried it 30 times, though? Well, see, the, the reason you are here is because of me, because I did such a poor job as a feature back <laughs> that they had to go out and get somebody the next year. After that game, we said, we think Moose is a blocker, not a runner. <laughs> so this Sunday, number 22 will be running the pigskin, 93 yards shy of the new all-time rushing record as Dallas takes on Seattle and the Seahawks have had a tough time stopping the run this season. It'll be JT Snow to start it for the Giants here in the bottom of the seventh with Bell and then Shinjo to follow against Ben Weber who surrendered the two out two run home run by Jeff Kent last inning to make it 8-4. Snow is walked, flied out, struck out. Strike one. JT fouling a ball off his left knee. His last time up, not moving around very well. Ball one. See those two dark strips on the back of J.T. Snow's shoulder? That's when he swings and misses or swings and fouls one off. And that pine tar off the white uniform. Up the middle. Through Weber and into center field. Lead off base hit for Snow. He didn't swing and miss that one. Fastball away. Weber trying to field it, the comebacker. A little late. Now David Bell. See how the Giants want to play it with Bell. Leading by four in the bottom of the seventh. Shinjo, the number nine hitter on deck, and then back to Lofton. The Anaheim defense is back on the infield. And Bell shattered his bat. And fouls it for strike one. That's, I guess, what, two nights in a row that jagged piece of a baseball bat went sailing down in the direction of Troy Gloss. Last night, David Eckstein 
stepping in front of Gloss to field the ball with that bad hit aimed right at Troy. David Bell with a game-winning hit in the eighth inning last night. Coming into this game, the Giants had only four hits from the seventh inning on in this entire series. Two of them came in last night's eighth inning. The last one off the bat of David Bell. The seventh here, and J.T. Snow has started it with a single up the middle. One and two. The Angels in the eighth inning will have Kennedy, Molina, and then a pinch hitter. Eight four in game five with game six on Saturday night in Anaheim. Russ Ortiz and Kevin Apier, the scheduled starters. Two and two. There's Ortiz. He did not fare well. The Encino native who grew up an Angels fan. In game two. And Bell is hit. Two on with nobody out. Gene Kleins was handed that broken bat. David Bell and had this to say. It's amazing. I can certainly understand uh, Troy Gloss earlier in the game smelling the barrel of the bat when he fouled one off. But I will have to ask Gene about that one. Smelling the handle, I, I don't. That was earlier when Troy Gloss looks at the barrel of the bat. And Ted Williams used to say the seams of the bat when you foul one off caused friction. Now the bunt from Shinjo's foul. Had uh, two guys in uniform smell different bats today. Might be a World Series record. Shields is getting loose for Anaheim in the Angel bullpen. Ginjo may be bunting even with two strikes. Here's an 0 1 pitch. And the bunt, perfect. The runners advance to second and third. The sacrifice good 1 4. A beauty right here. Shinjo slipping, coming out of the box. But no harm done. The sacrifice easily executed by Weber. So now it's second and third, one out. The infield comes in as Kenny Lofton steps in. Two hits in his first two trips. Grounded out his last two times up. And that one gets behind Molina. And Bell was almost three quarters of the way to third base when he figured out that Snow was not coming to the plate. And it was a very alert play by J.T. Snow because the ball came right back to Molina. Snow is not a fast runner, but Bell anticipating. Ball off the glove. It looked like a cross up from Weber. And watch David Bell. Naturally, he's going to go to third, but whoa. And nobody's covering anyway. Backpedaling was Kennedy. Too late. One ball, no strikes on Lofton. One and one.
on deck is Aurelia. We got the base hit in front of the two out two run home run by Kent back in the sixth. It's given the Giants a little breathing room they'd like more and Lofton trying to provide it. Eight four in the seventh inning. And that misses outside. Two balls and a strike. Snow at third, Bell at second. Giants trying to take game five before the series goes south to Anaheim. The 2 1. Ripped. Deep right field, Salmon back at the wall. It's off the wall. Two runs are going to score. Lofton digs for third. He's held there, and it's a six run Giants lead. Snow had to pick Darren Baker up and thankfully got him out of the way with Bell bearing down on home plate. And thank goodness that JT Snow was aware and got Darren Baker out of the way. Goodness. Ben Weber knocked out here in the seventh. It's a 10 4 Giants lead here in game five. Listerine pocket pack strips have the power to destroy germs, the power to crush germs, and the power to eliminate over 90% of germs on contact. Because when you kill the germs, you get an incredible clean mouth feeling. Cool Mint Listerine Pocket Packs. Kill the germs. Feel the clean. This fall, everything's turning red with Honda's fall values. Check out this deal on some of our ATVs and dirt bikes. Zero down payment and zero payments for three months. And a 7.9% APR for up to five years. Just one of the many great deals at your local Honda dealer. But wait, that's not all. Now you can get any new Honda for just $29 a month. 29 bucks. You'll find this and other great deals at your local Honda dealer. But these offers end soon, so hurry in and get red. What have you been up to, Mr. Moneybags? It's okay. I put it on the credit card. Those interest charges are going to get us. Don't worry. It's our new Capital One No Hassle card. Capital One No Hassle card has the nation's lowest long-term fixed rates, zero dollar fraud liability, and no telemarketing. What's in your wallet? Body pain? Oh. Back pain? Introducing new Bear Back and Body. It's Bear Aspirin plus a special pain relief enhancer to relieve sore backs and soothe aching muscles fast. Uh. New Bear Back and Body. Get moving again pain-free. Imagine being trapped in space. You lock everything that leaves below decks. With no way to escape. We're going to run out of air. How long? A couple of hours, maybe. Firefly. First pitch from Scott Shields is in for a strike. And here's a guy who has not appeared since the regular season. There are the numbers. Five and three. Good ERA of 2.20. 29 games out of the bullpen for the Angels. Makes his first postseason appearance. Infield is in. It's a 10-4 game. One ball, one strike. Sean Wooten takes over at first. He'll bat ninth. And the pitcher Shields is in the number six spot where Spezio was. Out 
That'll get out of play. Strike two. Shields trying to slow down the Giants who have come up two in the sixth two in the seventh on a booming triple by Kenny Lofton a strikeout for the second out of the inning it is really incredible Tim how aware JT Snow was when he crossed the plate on this triple by Kenny Lofton to recognize that Darren Baker who's only three years old was standing almost in the direct line look at this shot between David Bell and home plate. Well fortunately JT Snow didn't have to run hard home so he was able to be aware Dusty JT clapping fist and Dusty saying you got to watch he's only three years old that would that could have been uh, a very damaging thing that happened around home plate. Jeff Kent now with a runner at third loft and two out. Kent trying to get his feel at the plate. He's walked and scored, doubled and scored, and hit an important two out, two run home run in the sixth inning. Now he bats in the seventh for the Giants. Never led by more than six. Up by six again, a chance for more. Two balls and a strike. Last inning. Off Ben Weber. Front row. And a four run lead, which is now six. With two down, three balls and a strike. After Kent, it's Bonds. After Bonds, Santiago. Three one to Kent. Full count. A foul ball caught somebody down in the end of the dugout. So Kent takes a moment and they tend to whoever was hit by that bouncing ball into the third base dugout. Appears to be okay. His action will start for the Giants in their bullpen now. That's Scott Air. Runner at third, two out, three two pitch is popped up right side. And it's out of play. The Giants won game one of this World Series 4-3. They lost game two after overcoming at one point a 5 to nothing deficit to lead 9-7. The final was 11-10. And then the series shifted here to San Francisco, a 10-4 win in game three for Anaheim. The Giants pulling out a 4-3 win last night with a run in the eighth and leading 10-4 in the seventh inning game five. And Kent. Gets another one to left. Jeff Kent heating up. 12-4 Giants.
two out. Bonds takes a ball. The last time a two run home run on a breaking ball and this time a two run home run on a fastball. Bonds. Shields coming right after him. A ball and a strike. The Giants top four hitters are now nine out of 17. Shields took something off. Strike two. About the only thing missing tonight for the Giants is a Bonds home run. Number four on the all time list. Two balls, two strikes. Bonds with a pair of doubles tonight. He scored twice, driven in one run. Up the middle, under the glove of Eckstein. That's the shortstop on the other side of the bag, and Bonds has been on base four times with three hits and a walk. Up until about four years ago, the conventional wood used in bats of the major league level was ash. Barry Bonds uses a bat made of maple. It's a denser wood. And has he ever put some dents in it over the last two years? Santiago, with a piece of ash in his hands, comes up empty, strike one. I mean, when Barry Bonds gets a a ball in the middle of the plate. It is rare that he doesn't put the good part of the bat on the ball. He may pop it up. Made in Canada. Big rip by Santiago. No balls, two strikes. Fourth time a team has scored 10 or more runs. In this World Series, it's the second time that's happened in World Series history. That 1960 year that we highlighted last night, the Yankees scored all kinds of runs but lost in Game 7 on the Mazeroski home run. The hands of the Pirates. The 0-2. One ball, two strikes. Even with Tim Worrell in the on deck circle, next on that lineup card for Mike Sosha. The Angels are going after Santiago with a 12 4 score. Two and two. Kent all over the place tonight with a walk, a double, and two two-run home runs. Full count and Bonds will go. Ready like he's taken off in a sprint. And the jog will get him to second while Eckstein takes care of Santiago at first. Eight men to the plate in the seventh inning. Kent with his second two run home run of the night. We go to the eighth inning of game five. All San Francisco tonight now, 12 4. Gehrig's farewell speech. Selfless. Robinson's rookie year, fearless. Fisk's game winner, timeless. Our pastime, priceless. There are some things money can't buy. For everything else, there's MasterCard. Devoted fan of Major League Baseball and its most memorable moments.
A shift can change a person. A life. The world. Or it can simply change the way you move through it. Why do I rent from Enterprise? For more cargo room. More people room. Or more headroom. Enterprise. So easy, it's like having a second car. Or third. Pick Enterprise. We'll pick you up. Disney's The Santa Claus, the original holiday classic, is available for the first time ever in a special edition DVD. This guy was huge. Plus, in specially marked DVDs and videos, get a free movie ticket to see The Santa Claus 2 coming to theaters. Maximum value $7. Are leaders born, or do they rise out of adversity? At AIG, we believe the greatest risk is not taking one. Fox Wednesday. Sorry, Fatty. Other side. Let him in. Is driving carpool. The side's broken. Look. Let him in, dog. Driving Bernie crazy. Sorry. I told you it's broke. Shut up. Bernie <laughs> Matt. All new at 8, 7 Central. Fox Wednesday. Eighth inning, bottom part of the order for Anaheim. That means Kennedy, Molina, and Wooten. This is game five, and the Giants on their way to a victory. That would put San Francisco one win away from the first World Series championship for this franchise since 1954. And it would obviously be the first one for the San Francisco Giants. Who moved out here in 58. Lost to the Yankees in 62, lost to the A's in the Earthquake Series of 89. Two balls, no strikes from Morrell to Kennedy. Willie Mays has been asked 100 questions during this World Series. He's been available. 3 0 on Kennedy. With the remarkable year that Willie Mays had in 54 and the remarkable career that Willie Mays had that was his only World Series appearance two dozen he's next on the list in front of Barry Bonds his godson who talked about you know if this Giants team wins the World Series then Barry's got nothing on him that's a strike and it's a full count. We'll go back to that graphic and give you a chance to take another look at it. Four career World Series appearances for Mays, but the only title in 54. Same for Leo DeRocher. His only title. 587 home runs in the first 17 seasons. That's the mark that Bonds has hit this year. And he's at 613. Willie Mays in the World Series in 51, 54, 62, and then 1973 with the Mets. Easy for JT Snow. And the leadoff man is gone in the eighth. Barry Bonds, a 1982 graduate of Sarah High School in San Mateo, California. Played with AAA Hawaii before his call up to the Pirates in 86. His first career home run, June 4th of that year, of Craig McMurtry. 
the first in 1986. 612 regular season home runs later. Here he is on this Giants team. And at the end of tonight, will likely be only one win away from a world championship. As this series will move back to Anaheim for game six on Saturday night. The New York Yankees were one game away from a World Series championship when they went to Phoenix last year. And then the Diamondbacks blew out the Yankees in game six. And that remarkable finish in game seven when Luis Gonzalez won it for the D backs. Angels are hopeful that the same thing happens to them. Fastball, fly ball, right center, Shinjo, two out. Morell has retired all five Angel hitters he's faced. Game seven of the 2001 World Series. It just did catch the outfield grass off the bat of Luis Gonzalez, who, by the way, is here watching this World Series. Last year's hero. Luis Gonzalez hurt in the final week of the regular season. Hurting his shoulder. Got an operation on the shoulder. Says he's feeling a lot better, but unfortunately for the Diamondbacks, their biggest bat, their biggest threat was not in their lineup. In their three-game series sweep at the hands of St. Louis. Wooten, his first at bat of the night. Nothing but strikes from Tim Worrell. After running the count, 3 and 0 on Kennedy who eventually grounded out to first to start this eighth inning. And when the Diamondbacks went back to Phoenix last year, no team could have been more disheartened with the losses that they suffered at the hands of the Yankees in games 4 and 5. Up the middle off the bat of Wooten, he has a two out hit. The two run home run to tie it in the ninth inning by Tino Martinez. And then the next night, the Yankees won that game on a home run by Derek Jeter. That was game four at Yankee Stadium. And then in game five, Scott Brocious with a two-run home run off the same pitcher, Young Hum Kim. And Kim came back this year to have a good year. Devastating. And yet the Diamondbacks prevail. Here's Eckstein. He's been on base three times and chipped in with an RBI ground out. One of my most favorite shots that we had at the end of the World Series last year was the look of relief on the face of Young Hung Kim and the way his teammates supported him and gathered around him. I think had a lot to do with him having enough confidence to come back and put together a solid year in the bullpen for Bob Renly. I remember a line by William Roden, a columnist for the New York Times. He wrote, gloom is a universal language. And it certainly was for Young Hung Kim, the first Korean to ever appear in a World Series. Two balls and a strike on Eckstein. It's a 12-4 San Francisco lead, top of the eighth. Game six on Saturday night, 7.30. We will hit the air Eastern time, 4.30 Pacific. Russ Ortiz, Kevin Apier, the scheduled starters. Both pitchers struggled in game two. That's fouled back toward the dugout, and Santiago is just out of room. Ortiz lasted only an inning and two thirds in game two. And even with a five to nothing lead, Apier lasted only two, pitched into the third, didn't retire, man. Allowed five runs on five hits while Ortiz, who grew up. Close to Anaheim, allowed seven runs on nine hits. The Angels won that game. The eighth inning home run by Sam in 11 10. The matchup for Saturday night. Right now, it's a matchup of Tim Worrell and David Eckstein. And a fastball takes care of Eckstein and the Angels in the eighth. Bottom of the eighth inning, the Giants will bat cruising here in game five now, leading by eight.
I gotta tell you, I've had some great deals come my way, but a big and tasty. For just a dollar? You did your thing, dog. Not that I'm calling you a dog. I mean, you're more like a big purple... I don't know what you are. <laughs> what you say about my mama? Huh? <laughs> Get a delicious big and tasty, a McChicken sandwich, and more every day on McDonald's Dollar Menu. You got a buck? You're in luck. Grimace. Bump with me. What? I called him and I said, get a movie. You know, something old. I heard, get a monkey with a cold. <laughs> a monkey? Yes. It's not his fault. It's the cellular static. Here, now you can get clear calls and do more. Because Sprint built the largest all digital, all PCS enhanced nationwide network from the ground up. For clarity, you could see and hear. Oh, look at that. Thanks. What about the monkey? Plenty of fluids and he'll be fine. For $30 a month, get 300 anytime and unlimited night and weekend PCS minutes from Sprint. What makes bodies in motion remain in motion? What makes what goes up stay up? And what makes what goes down get back up? Whatever it is, it ain't physics. World Series on Fox is brought to you by Bank One, inviting you to get the credit card that's right for you. By the people of Allstate, you're in good hands with Allstate. And by GM, the car company in overdrive. We move to the bottom of the eighth inning. A couple of changes. Alex Ochoa takes over in right field for Tim Salmon. And Jose Molina is now behind the plate. In there in place of his brother Benji Molina. Pedro Feliz is off the bench to bat for Tim Worrell who pitched two scoreless innings. Our sprint virtual manager question. Can the Angels still win this series? We ask you and you can vote now using PCS Vision Sprint or log on to FoxSports.com. Two balls and a strike on Pedro Feliz. Shields back to work and it's two and two. Scott Air, it appears, will come on and work in the ninth. Feliz pops it up. Alex Ochoa just into the game. One away. Tim Worrell ends up going two innings. No runs, only one hit, two strikeouts. He has just been terrific all year long for the Giants. And again tonight, a guy Brian Sabian says was the biggest surprise of his acquisitions over the last five years. The job that Worrell has done. Traded here from Chicago for Bill Miller, a popular third baseman who actually ended up back with the Giants at the end of the regular season after the roster deadline but helped San Francisco down the stretch when they finished 95 and 66 three and a half games up on Los Angeles in the wildcard race. The Giants record was two and a half games short of Arizona. Diamondbacks won the West. Seems like Snow is still a little gimpy on that left knee where he took that foul ball two at bats ago. After that swing, limping across home plate, it's still bothering him. It's the left leg that he hit with that foul ball and very, very sore. A 2 2 pitch with one out. Sleep in November. That is a familiar refrain that we've heard from one clubhouse to the next. Base hit to right by Snow. His second hit tonight. Been on base three times. 
Our game summary brought to you by John Hancock. The Giants put up six runs in the first two innings. The Angels made it a game in the fifth and sixth. But the Giants went back to work. Jared Washburn lasting only four innings. Schmidt only four and two thirds. That was a surprise. Santiago's had a nice night. Nobody's had a bigger evening than Jeff Kent. And what a time for him to get his swing. Leading into the weekend in game six on Saturday night in Anaheim. And at the bottom, one sunken taco target. And there it goes. If you were counting on a free taco at some point this year, your chances are sinking. One on, one out. Good breaking ball. So much movement. It needed a choreographer. Out of the right hand of Shields, who has pitched only once this entire postseason. And after coming in in a tight spot, picked up a strike out of Aurelia last inning, but Kent popped him for a two run home run. That's foul. And it's still one and two. Well, it has been a chorus line of Giants crossing home plate tonight. I'll tell you that. 12 runs on 14 hits for the Giants. One singular sensation tonight. Bob Fossey S. <laughs> I don't bother to hold against Snow over at first. He doesn't want to run. Not only is he not going to run, with that leg, he doesn't want to run. That's foul again. Still one and two. Into the pocket of the left field umpire, Tim Sheeta. And that draws a reaction from the crowd. Somebody over there wanted a souvenir, and they're not going to get it. Wide sweeping breaking ball on the count two and two as Bell's able to lay off. Mike Sosha really described Scott Shields to us tonight for the first time. Here he is in the game, kind of a three quarter style pitcher. Doesn't blow you away with velocity, but has that good breaking ball. Wow! Thank goodness for Shields. He was able to get out of the way of that rocket back up the middle. Two on, one out. That will make you. Follow your gum. Ben Weber with a line drive back through the box that went between oh. his legs, and Shields almost needed one. Another line drive off the bat of David Bell, who hitting in the number eight spot. Came into this game 304 in the postseason. He's easy to overlook in this lineup but boy has he come up with some important hits for the Giants two tonight plus he's been hit by a pitch and driven in a run with a bases loaded walk valuable guy to have hitting eighth Shinjo is hitting ninth and batting with two on one out and another breaking ball is hit past gloss at third snow is going to come to the plate the throw by Anderson is not in time. Snow safe, and it's 13 to 4, San Francisco. JT Snow is planned to be home. That bad left leg, this ball is under the glove of Gloss, an error on Troy Gloss. I don't know what happened. That ball may have taken it. A hop to the left, but the throw by Garrett Anderson, a little late, and Snow scores. I'm not too sure Molina held on to the ball. JT was going to third, almost as though he were holding up, but he just tags home plate with his hand. Nice slide right there. Last night, it was 
written about in the papers today an awkward slide expecting contact from Benji Molina when he scored the game's winning run across the plate and kind of dug his two knees into the dirt past home plate and he is still having trouble with that area the outside part of his left knee and that After was that a foul ball that was a very dangerous slide last night Lofton is hitting line drives all over the place this is tonight's slide athletic slide diving that left hand on the home plate and last night looking to lower his shoulder Benji Molina moves away and then it was two knees into the dirt loft into the right side nice play Kennedy to his left two out think about the replays we've shown you with JT Snow and then to go back to that play that he made in Anaheim slipping in foul territory falling flat on his back and getting up making a catch to retire Salmon. So his lower back is taking a beating. Both knees in last night's slide. And then the foul ball off the left leg above the knee. Sleep in November. Runners on at second and third, two out. Here's Rich Aurelia. Into left field. Did he get enough? Back at the wall. Home run, Aurelia. Three run shot, 16 to four. have tied a World Series tied the 1956 Yankees with their 12th 16 runs scoring tonight ties a club World Series record as a strike is poured in to Jeff Kent the look by Shields Tim was a look of astonishment that that ball got out the way Aurelia hit it, but as you pointed out in this series, the ball carries well to left. Yeah, carries well to left in the left center. And Shields, that's the look right there. The look of all. Into left field, Anderson into his right. And Kent is retired to end the eighth. The Giants having fun, and so are their fans. Their last chance to cheer the National League champions. Pounding the Angels in game five. Trying to take a three games to two series advantage up 16 to four. Pepsi Blue, a fusion of berries with a splash of cola. Pepsi Blue, it's a blue thing. You know who you are. You're you. In fact, it says so right there on your Bank One credit card. And not just where your name is, but in how it works, what it offers. Bank One gives you over 1,200 different cards to choose from, so you can get the features that work best for you. Still carrying around someone else's credit card? Maybe it's time you got one of your own. You're still here. How's she doing? I don't know how to say this, Mr. Foley. It's gonna cost you a fortune to put it through college.
Look at it this way. She's premature. You've got a six-week head start. Ford Explorer is alone at the top. It has outstanding handling and the roomiest third row seat in its class, which are just a couple of the reasons it's the best-selling SUV on the planet. Ford Explorer, the leader, has no boundaries. Entertainment Weekly calls 24 an addictive, a and feel thriller set to explode. Let's get out of Los Angeles now. 24, the season premiere, presented without commercial interruption by Ford. 9, 8 Central, Fox Tuesday. Look at all those runs. 16 on 16 hits for the Giants. Four runs on 10 hits for Anaheim. And we are now into the ninth inning. Shinjo moves to center field. Tom Goodwin is inserted in right. Lofton's out for the rest of the evening. And Scott Ayer is on the mound. And a strike to Darren Erstad. Unscored upon in eight games for Scott Ayer. Air picked up midseason. He's filled a role as the late inning left handed reliever. We talked about it earlier in the World Series. The Giants suffered a big loss when Jason Christensen went down. An arm injury had to undergo Tommy John surgery, and Air is trying to step into that spot, and he's done well with it. Stan tried to hold up and he did and there's one out here in the ninth inning. Hershad strikes out our all state good hands defensive play of the game is J.T. Snell recognizing that Darren Baker was in the way of David Bell coming to the plate sweeping him away. And Dusty Baker thankful that J.T. was aware says thank you JT a rather scary moment and what was a big moment for the Giants that was in the seventh One out, nobody on, no balls, one strike on Alex Ochoa, his first at bat. One and one. The Giants tonight tied for the second most in World Series history with their 16 runs scored. The 12 home runs in the series is a National League World Series record. It ties. The overall World Series record of the 56 Yankees. Ochoa goes down to get it, flies it to Goodwin in right, two down. The Giants are now one out away from taking a three games to two series lead, going to Anaheim for game six on Saturday night. Except for those of you on the West Coast, stay tuned for your late local news. For those viewers in Los Angeles area, Interested in continued post-game coverage, turn to your regional Fox Sports Net affiliate. It's the scorer's discretion as to who gets the win in tonight's game, and right now the scorer is saying Chad Zerby, who went an inning and two-thirds. Anderson grounds to Kent, fitting he would assist on the final out, and the Giants win game five, 16 to four.
An offensive explosion by the Giants. We'll turn the tables on the Anaheim Angels and pound out 16 runs on 16 hits and lead this World Series three games to two. Giants scoring six times in the first two innings. The Angels tried to come back. They scored four unanswered runs, but then Jeff Kent and the rest of the Giants exploded again. Jeff Kent did not want to talk after this game in which he had a breakout game with a walk a run scored a double a run scored a pair of two run home runs. They both came by the way with two out in the inning it happened in the sixth that happened in the seventh but Kent declined will go down to Steve Lyons who's with Benito Santiago Steve Hi, Joe thank you very much Benny this is the type of game where you know that with both offenses neither team is out of a ball game at any point I know we never give in you know we seen like uh, we start ahead right away but this guy never give up either you know they score some runs in one inning and then after that they come up with another run and when they were six four they got me worried a little bit you know I got to put the right fingers back there but <laughs> The offense doing it like they've been doing it all year long, so they give me a little lift so I can put my signs. Benny, how important is it to this ball club that you got Kenny Lofton going now, six hits in his last two ball games? Well, it's going it's gonna to be big on us. You know, the guy was struggling the first couple of days, and and we don't got anything going on. You know, this guy is very important to get on base. You know, everybody knows what he can do, and he got the World Series experience, so. He's using it to us. Another guy that had been struggling for this ball club, but huge day today. Jeff Kent, two home runs. It's another guy that you definitely need to have swinging the bat for you. Well, let me tell you, you know, that guy, the, the last two at bat he got, it made me real proud and made me real happy because I know the guy is on right now, and that's what we need. We need this guy big time. All right, Benny, day off, and then back down to Anaheim. Congratulations. Good job. All right, Joe, let's go back to you guys. All right, Steve, thank you. A final of 16-4 to four tonight, and these Giants fans are all hanging here making noise as they will send their San Francisco Giants down the coast to Anaheim for game six on Saturday night. We'll take a break, come back. One more. The Giants are one win away from their first world championship since 1954. That, Barry Bonds has said, is when he will celebrate. On Thursday nights, you can pick your friends or you can pick your survivor. But can you pick your ears with your toes? The world's fastest and freakiest talent show returns with an all-new hour. 30 Seconds to Fame, all-new at 8, 7 Central, next Thursday on Fox. Fox Wednesday. It puts fear in the strongest of men. It's every parent's worst nightmare. <laughs> Driving carpool. Sound like a good deal, right? A deal with the devil. Can Bernie oh, save himself hey. before it's too late? Hi. I'm so glad you're doing the carpool with us. You got five seconds! Ow! Bernie Mac is back with all new episodes followed by Cedric at 8, 7 Central, Fox Wednesday. Jack Bauer seems to live an ordinary life. I love you so much, sweetheart. But sometimes the men chosen to protect us. Mr. President, we are in the middle of a grave situation. Are the most dangerous ones of all. This fall, an unimaginable threat. This cannot leak out to the public. An unstoppable man. You want results, but you never want to get your hands dirty. An unforgettable new season. You need to get out of Los Angeles now. Kiefer Sutherland, 24, the season premiere. Presented without commercial interruption by Ford. At 9, 8 Central, Fox Tuesday. I'm Christine Devine. Tonight at 10, police may have finally caught the sniper, but did tips from the suspect lead to his own capture? Then... I'm Jennifer Gould, and the Angels are getting ready to bring the World Series back home to Anaheim. We're going to talk to them live tonight on the Fox 11, 10 o'clock news. The power of GMC. Nothing from nothing, beat 
the best. Nothing beats the power of zero down payment. Zero payments till January 2003 and 0% financing on every new GMC. Nothing from nothing, nothing. You gotta have something. Get any new GMC with zero down payment. Zero payments till January 2003 and 0% financing. See the pros at your Southern California GMC truck dealers before it all ends October 31st. They're undercover cops with too much money. It's cool with me. Too many toys. Are you kidding me? And much too much. What happened to you? Imagination. I tripped over the belt of my robe and hit my head. We get shot at every day and you got beat up by a bathroom. Fast lane. Does it make me less of a man? Back in action at 9 Central Fox Wednesday. And they've been described as a team of journeymen and veterans fighting for their baseball lives. Don't look now. But the Geritol crowd is just a heartbeat away from calling the jeweler. Kevin Kennedy, baseball's odd couple, helped seal the deal tonight. Jeff Kent doing the damage, and Barry Bonds in there as well. No home runs necessary. Well, you know, you, you couldn't keep Jeff Kent down too long. He's too good a hitter. Hits over 330 almost every single year, over 30 home runs. He had a couple of big ones tonight. And really, to open up the ball game from 6-4 to four to 8-4, eight, eight to four, a two-run home run. Second of the postseason for Jeff Kent. He was only hitting 188 coming into this ball game tonight. And then, of course, in the seventh inning, the same thing. You get him hot. Forget about it. The Giants now have the momentum, obviously, going back to Anaheim to face Kevin Apier and unleashing those bats. But the big blow is obviously Jeff Kent tonight. Anaheim with 24 runs in the first three games. These last two games, just seven on the board. So the question is, is the offense slowing down or have the Giants really figured out a way to stop? I think the Giants have figured it out. They're changing speeds. Jason Schmidt was outstanding. A lot of change-ups in the middle of the first three innings of the ball game. And after he got a 6-0 lead, Jason Schmidt went to throwing and stopped pitching. That's why Dustin Baker had to make the change. He kept throwing fastballs in that fifth inning. That's why Anaheim got on the board and got the game close. Dusty managing differently than he did a couple of years ago. He's not going to take anything for granted. He brings Zerby in with a time run at the plate. He gets the left-hander Kennedy out, and the rest is history. Keep in mind, of course, the Anaheim Angels know how to come back from adversity, yeah. and now they go back to their park, and we don't have to watch the pitcher swing the bat. No, and that's the key, too. They lost Fulmer and Sean Wooten. They lost the DH in the National League Park, so you kind of expected the Giants would have the advantage. They came back there, one, two out of three, but it's all even now going back to Anaheim because the Anaheim crowd is really gets going now. Kent and Bonds have played together for six years. Say what you will about their relationship, Joe, but the two of them could be walking as champions Saturday night on Fox. Jeannie and Kevin, thank you. It is, in a way, a double win for San Francisco. They get the 16-4 victory. They take a three games to two advantage, and they get Jeff Kenhot, who hitting in front of Barry Bonds, becomes double dangerous. Coordinating producer of Major League Baseball on Fox, and the producer of tonight's game is Michael Weissman, our director, Bill Webb. The pregame show produced by Carol Langley McDermott and directed by Jennifer Love. Our technical producers are Matt Benedict and Craig Marlowe. The technical directors are Jonathan Evans and Jeff Butler. Thanks also to technical supervisors Peter Saltons, Marty Galyenix, Al Friedman, and Deb Pitt Robertson. The engineers in charge are Dennis Dozier and John Kemp. The senior producer of Fox Sports is Bill Brown, and the executive producers of Fox Sports are Ed Gordon and David Hill. That'll do it from us here in the booth. For Tim McCarver, I'm Joe Buck. For more information on tonight's game and for the latest information on Major League Baseball, go to FoxSports.com. It'll be game six. It'll be Saturday night, 7.30 Eastern, 4.30 Pacific. All smiles for the San Francisco Giants as they carry a three games to two lead down to Anaheim. You've been watching Fox Sports coverage of Major League Baseball. Your home for the 2002 World Series. Good night. October's magic is alive. Emmett Smith stands just 93 yards from football immortality as he aims to become the NFL's all-time leading rusher. October's magical matchups continue this week. I'm Rick Garcia. Stick around for a complete post-game coverage right after the game. As fast as the 03 Toyotas are coming in, they're moving out even faster. Because our 2003 model year lineup is our most exciting ever. Drive home the 03 Sienna van, and you'll get $1,000 factory cash back. Or get $1,000 back when you buy or lease any powerful 03 Tundra. You can even get a special introductory 2.9% APR on the 03 Camry sedan. So here come the 03 Toyotas, and there they go. Just see your Toyota dealer today.
Should you ever decide to go off and start your own telecommunications company, how would you run it? Would you make some flashy moves to dazzle Wall Street? Or would you make multi-year, multi-billion dollar commitments to develop new technologies for Main Street? These days, too many companies go after short-term profits at the expense of what's best for their customers. If that makes any sense to you, please explain it to the nearly 190,000 people of SBC who know only one way to move forward. Long-term vision, long-term results. Infinite Purpose, SBC. California's got the ultimate of everything. The ultimate crush, the ultimate air freshener, and of course, the ultimate pickup, Dodge Ram. The most powerful, longest lasting line of trucks. With an all new 345 horsepower, 5.7 liter Hemi Magnum engine on Ram Heavy Duty. And now, low financing or a generous cash allowance on Ram 1500. Plus Dodge's 770 powertrain limited warranty. Ultimately, these trucks can only be found at California's Truck Stop, your California Dodge dealer. Trapped in space. We're going to run out of air. With no way to escape. How long? A couple of hours. Firefly. Friday at 8 on Fox 11. Live from Fox 11 News, this is special coverage of the 2002 World Series. Good evening and welcome to our special World Series post-game coverage. I'm Rick Garcia and ouch. The Angels' way to play baseball is small ball and it looks like the Giants have read the book, seen the tape, even took cliff notes up to home plate. The end result of the game, well not a pretty sight for Angels fans. Let's pick it up uh, in the first inning. Jared Washburn facing Barry Bonds, one out runner on first and second. Well, not exactly a Taco Bell shot, but Bonds lines it to right for a double. Kenny Lofton scores one nothing Giants that add two more in the inning. More trouble in the second, more trouble at the plate. Second and third, so that means Bonds is getting the walk. Bases loaded for Benito Santiago, and he makes Washburn pay with a base hit up the middle. Two more runs come home. 5 nothing San Francisco, and the Giants faithful very happy. Angels in need of some love. Troy Gloss hoping to get a little. Not enough in the fifth. He laces a shot, but look, it hits the wall, just missing a home run. Tim Salmon will score in the play. That makes it 6-3. The Angels cut the lead to 6-4, but in the sixth, Jeff Kent airs out a two-run home run off Ben Weber. Giants take a four-run lead at 8-4. And you know what? It's not rally monkey weather in San Francisco. The Giants aren't finished. Kenny Lofton just misses a home run to right field. Here comes J.T. Snow. Look at this. He's got a swoop in and pick up Dusty Baker's son Darren from harm's way at the plate. More on that in a moment. David Bell would score right behind him. Darren safe and happy. So are the Giants with a 16-4 win. They lead the series 3-2. Well, needless to say, they're having a good time in San Francisco right now with that one game lead, only two left. Ed Lasko's up at Pac Bell and uh, he's got more. A wild scene out here, really wild outside Pack Bale for Giants fans one way or the other. It's their last home game of the year. Take a look. They've already started to celebrate. They piled it on tonight. It is their biggest series win so far. They're letting out now, already starting to celebrate it. What they can smell, a championship one game away. A couple of the last two innings, police brought in a few more squads down here at the Willie Mays Plaza. The lieutenant in charge saying, really concerned about tonight with all the excitement of that last home game. He thought it might be more dangerous, perhaps more destructive tonight with this celebration than if the Giants win it back in Anaheim. There's some of those Giants fans. Either way, though, one more time for us. Let's circle the bases here at Packville. Game five from McCovey Cove, where they wait for a homer, to the right field wall, where they watch for a homer. For the fans, the game is on. Hank Bell, where they rush the park. Angel fans with their rally monkeys. The monkey aura I've been feeling, it's just around them. Around them, you can kind of see it. It's an orange tint, and it's sad. Not as bad as we've expected. We thought it'd be bad when we came out, but. Go Giants! Other, Go Giants! Not at 
know about that. Yeah, that's yeah. true. <laughs> and she's one of the nice ones. Kill the monkey, yeah! <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> the rally monkey, part of the series souvenirs. Through the city, souvenirs, World Series souvenirs, in high demand, and big bucks. I'd say between 30 and $100. That much? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I guess it's easy to do. I mean, this stuff's Most expensive. Most of our shirts are 18 to $29, so it's kind of easy to rack it up. And they line up around Packville, looking for their piece of history. People come on outside, people buy them on the inside. Real popular. They all want a part of uh, World Series. That's right. History. They want to be part of history. And now back live here at the Pack Bell. History still hasn't been written, been written yet for Angel fans. Here's a brave guy sticking out with this crazy crowd tonight. Got to be tough inside. There was a long, long night for you. Yeah, it's uh, it's real tough. Hey, Giants played a great game tonight. It's been a great series. I expect to go down to the wire. Uh, it's not over yet, man. We got game six over there, and uh, they think it's tough here. It's even tougher in Anaheim. I was going to tell you, though, unfortunately, how was it there? You had the, you had the camp on in the net fan, in the net crowd. It must have been really tough inside. Um, we can hear how tough it is outside here. Uh, the toughest is people who drink a lot. <laughs> well, oh, there's but, no shortage of that here. But um, it's 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 uh, toughest thing is we didn't play well. All right, pal, you be careful. Stay home tonight. Also, some more Angel fans who want to show you they need some home cooking. A brand new game come Saturday. Tough loss. I couldn't come up with any clutch hitting when we needed it. And uh, we're ready for game six. They're coming down to SoCal, and we're going to be ready for them. How did you survive in there dressed like that? It was a little tough there. Got a little rowdy there, but um, they were pretty good. It was okay. Ma'am, what do you think? We need some home cooking? Yes, definitely. We're going to get them at home, though. <laughs> really sad, though. Tonight we were expecting a close game, and boy, it just got out of hand. Yeah. That's okay, though. Saturday. We're going to win on Saturday. Heading back home. Yes. Still, home. still confident. Still confident. We won the, uh, the, the wild card at home. We won the division championship at home. And now the World Series. Well, <laughs> that's all you can do is the conduct the orchestra, right, Ed? The... The, they, they, they've, the, been, Rick, they've been crazy down here. A lot of the fans, though, Angel fans, this is the first time where they actually left early, not just so much because of the score. They were worried, really, about their own safety. We talked to a lady who felt bad for her, really, early 60s, and she had a big black eye. She was wearing a big Angels jersey, and she said another woman came by and just slugged her. So a lot of Angel fans left a little early tonight, worried about their own safety. we got some other Angel fans we want to introduce you to. They're a lot safer. They're with Jane Yamamoto all the way down at the ESPN zone down in Disney. Jane, how you doing down there? All right, we're going to go to Jane in just a moment, Ed, but uh, they just love Southern California fans up there in uh, San Francisco, don't they? Stick around. We're hoping to hear from the principals up at Pac Bell Park and have a lot more on our special post-game World Series coverage. Turning raw metal into pure gold isn't easy, unless it's Chevy Truck Month with zero, zero, zero. Zero percent APR. Zero down payment. Zero payments on every new 02 and 03 Chevy truck in stock until 2003. Plus, right now, get $500 bonus cash. It's a new gold rush. Stake your claim. See your Southern California Chevrolet dealer. From Rockefeller Films, Harlem, 1986. We're definitely going to do some business. Are you feeling me, man? Let's do this. Three best friends. Life is good in Harlem, baby. The dreamer. I was tripping to a whole lot of money. The baller. Making money is me. A lot of hustle. The soldier. If I hear something going on, I'm going to handle it. They did what it took to get paid in full. Thinking of a master plan. Paid in full. Based on a true story. Rated R. Starts tomorrow. Our Constitution guarantees all citizens the right to vote. But current California election law denies many people this right. If a citizen turns 18 just before an election, moves just before an election, or returns home from military service just before an election, they can be denied their right to vote. Prop 52 protects the constitutional rights of these voters, allowing them to register and vote on election day with valid proof of ID. Prop 52 protects voter rights and prevents voter fraud.
presenting the tough Nissan Frontier 4x4 long bed. Washburn gave up that game one home run to Bonds. It was a solo shot. Washburn gave a shrug after that. And a little smile. Different situation here. As Bonds rips Henry to right. And the Giants take the lead. Oh, he's been the ace all season for the Anaheim Angels, but today he wasn't fooling anybody. Jared Washburn got beat up a little bit by the Giants. All right, let's check in with John and Christine. All right, uh, Rick, thanks. As the series heads back down to Anaheim, Angel fans are already getting psyched up for Game 6. Jane Yamamoto is live at the ESPN Zone in Anaheim. Hi, Jane. For a moment, I got him on control now. Brian, no, everybody, shh. everybody, calm down here. Brian, what is your message to the Angels? My message to the Angels, and more specifically to the Giants, is that this is a seven game series. You're coming here for two. You're going to face the big red machine in the big red sea. The trophy's staying here in Anaheim. We believe in stocks in Orange County, not bonds. Yeah! What is your message for the Giants or the Angels? The Angels, we believe in you. We're all wearing the halos for you. And go Angels! Woo! My message is Giants, look out. There are two games left in Anaheim, and you are not going home with the trophy. OK, so we ask Giants fans, too. My message to the Giants is we have faith. We're pulling it off that nobody believed it in June, July, or August, and we're here in October. And some fans had messages for each other. Taking a lot of heat from these guys. Yeah, it's all right. I like that. I like the pressure. I like the pressure. I like the pressure. Ready, monkey! Well, where is it? Where is it? He'll come where? out. He'll He's come right out. here. Six That's a seven. problem. He's not in San Francisco. Seven, He's not in San Francisco. We found the rally monkey. You think it'll work better like this? Okay. See, then he comes all the vibe of the Okay. Of so you can see yeah. the face. All right, the, the chi. Okay, then. The chi, yeah. It's yeah. that whole energy. Yeah, yeah. And we found something else, too. Oh, jungle, jungle, mango, the rally monkey is jumping. Jungle, jungle, mango, the thunder sticks are pounding. I guess that's going to be hitting uh, MTV tomorrow or something. No, I'm just joking. Anyway. Okay, you can hear now they finally calmed down and uh, not that much to cheer about now, but you know what they say, don't worry. They'll be back on Saturday. Reporting live, I'm Jane Yamamoto. We'll send it back to you, Rick. You All go, right, Jane. thank you very much, Jane. Let's uh, now go to the post-game podium back up in San Francisco. Giants manager Dusty Baker, let's listen. What I'm doing and first, first call I got in the clubhouse when I got back in the clubhouse was my mom to, to tell me, you know, I know you listen to me sometime and just listen to me this time and she told me to thank JT, and I thanked him, you know, for saving him and uh, the whole, you know, situation. Okay, JT Snow is also here, so let me know to whom you're directing your question. Over here. For Dusty, can you talk about the decision to take out Schmidt one out away from a win and what went through your mind there, if anything? Was that a consideration? No, that wasn't a consideration. When he gets to this point, you know, it's no longer, you know, a consideration. That, uh, the consideration is uh, we didn't want them coming all the way back. Uh, Smith, you know, Smitty was struggling. He struggled a little bit the inning before. Uh, didn't really want to go to my tired bullpen that that soon. And they had some dangerous hitters coming up there. So uh, in that situation, you got to go for the you know the team win. Well, you know, Dusty Baker's son uh, almost uh, was a big factor in this game. We're going to show you more on that a little bit later. But uh, stick around. We're going to take a quick timeout. More to come from uh, Pac Bell Park and here at uh, the KTDV Studios on this special post game World Series edition. The power of GMC. Nothing from nothing beats nothing. Nothing beats the power of zero down payment. Zero payments till January 2003 and 0% financing on every new GMC. Nothing from nothing beats nothing. You gotta have something. Get any new GMC with zero down payment. Zero payments till January 2003 and 0% financing. See the pros at your Southern California GMC truck dealers before it all ends October 31st. Outdated earthquake reinforcement and fire safety features can lead to tragedy. The Natural History Museum was built nearly 100 years ago, long before earthquake safety standards ever existed. We can't predict the next serious earthquake, 
but we can protect our children. That's why we need Measure A. Measure A will modernize earthquake and fire safety systems so children from all over Los Angeles County will be safe when they visit our museums. Protect our children. Vote yes on A. In four years, we've increased funding for education by 32% and student achievement scores are up. In spite of a national recession, our economy has grown from the seventh largest to the fifth largest in the world. We provided health insurance to one million children and helped 45,000 Californians fight their HMOs and win. But there's more to do on our schools, our environment, our economy, and on energy. You may not agree with everything I've done, but I'm working hard to do what's best for California. Turning raw metal into pure gold isn't easy, unless it's Chevy Truck Month with zero, zero, zero. Zero percent APR. Zero down payment. Zero payments on every new O2 and O3 Chevy truck in stock until 2003. Plus, right now, get $500 bonus cash. It's a new gold rush. Stake your claim. See your Southern California Chevrolet dealer. No mystery can stop him, not even his own. You got you too. Uh, Who are they? Uh, Who got me? John Doe. Friday at 9 on Fox 11. Into center field, a hit for Santiago. Into score is Lofton. The throw to the plate. Kent is safe. The runners move up to second and third. No shortage of runs in San Francisco. We're going to go back to the uh, post-game podium. And J.T. Snow, a hero for the Giants in more ways than one. First off, I think that our clubhouse is always the same. We got a, a bunch of veteran guys, and uh, you could walk in our clubhouse and, and not know if we'd won 10 in a row or lost 10 in a row. That's just the way it is. We're, we're relaxed. Um, you know, guys just do what they need to do to get ready for the game, prepare themselves. Everybody does it in a different way. And... Um, you know, obviously we felt good about winning last night's game. Um, that was a, a big game to get back to 2-2, but um, we've got the same clubhouse pretty much all the time. Um, you know, as far as that, that play goes, um, luckily, uh, you know, Kenny hit that ball off the wall and I went back to tag and I didn't have to run real hard to, to score. And, and when I looked down, I saw just a little flash kind of flash behind me and, um, you know, Darren does such a great job going out and getting the bats. He's so eager all the time. Um, I realized it was him. And uh, I have a four and a half year old son of my own at home, so I kind of know how to how to get a hold of him when they're running away. And I just reached down, and luckily I grabbed him by the the collar and the jacket, and um, just tried to pick him up off the you know because he was crossing home plate, and I didn't want him to get hurt. And um, he was kind of behind me. I saw the replay, and I just reached behind me. And, Luckily, grabbed him by the collar and lifted him up, and his eyes were huge. I don't think he knew what was going on. And uh, well, uh, JT, I mean, let's let's show you what he's talking about. Just when you think you've seen it all in a baseball game, and something like this occurs, we take it back into the seventh inning. There's the play, loft in the fly ball to deep right. JT Snow standing on third, and look at this, Darren Baker, the manager's son, who's a bat boy. Look at this, runs during the middle of the play to go get the bat. And JT has to grab him. Otherwise, you would have gotten uh, run over by the next runner coming in to score. And uh, they had a little chat with Darren to let him know what was going on. And boy, th yes, that's right. I mean, uh, look at Dusty saying, son, watch out. Of course, Dusty was watching the play. He wanted to see if his team scored. And oh, a crazy scene, but it, but it worked out well. John, Christine? Boy, that was a great scene, too. And a little uh, touch at the end there, sweet. You don't see that every game, do you? No, you don't. Interesting no, you moment. Don't. Well, they are the hottest tickets in town, if you can get your hands on them. Well, the World Series heading back to the Edison Field, of course, and that has fans scrambling for those mm -hmm. tickets. Al Naipo is live in Anaheim with more on that. Al. Yeah, we're right now we're here at the, the Catch in Anaheim. It's a restaurant right across uh, from Edison Field where a lot of fans were camping out earlier today. And I think some of those fans who were here may have gone back over there. You can see most of the place is cleared out. You guys pointed out it was a tough game to watch, but the place was full. A lot of people were here until the bitter end. And you had to hand it to the fans who were here. They were enthusiastic despite the fact that the Giants had really run out to a commanding lead. And although it seemed hopeless, here the Angels came back. And uh, they were right back in the hunt, of course, uh, until, of course, the uh, Giants came back and exploded. 
and Angels fans telling us, uh, you know, uh, they're going to hang in there, although this is not the place or position they'd want to be in. A lot of things look bleak, you know, but the Angels are a comeback team. There always will be. They're, a, they're, I mean, who even gave the Angels a chance at the beginning of the year? The Angels are waiting to bring it home. It's all a part of the strategy. You bet. They're going to win it right here in Autry land. And there's Edison Field, some of 200 people earlier today lining up for the chance, a bleak chance, uh, hoping, praying that there would be some tickets released from Edison Field. Uh, families bringing their children, people bringing sleeping bags and camping out. Even fans were bringing their watchmen so they could watch uh, the game, uh, watch the Angels on TV camping out. But it seemed it uh, was actually all for naught. The uh, line started to dwindle and then the announcement came, uh, no tickets. So we expect those fans, a lot of them told us, is that they will be right back out there early tomorrow morning, if not late tonight, to try to get those tickets. Although we can say there's no guarantee that there will be any tickets for any Game 6 or possibly a Game 7. Back here, of course, uh, here at the Catch, we expect this to have more fans, of course, lining up, uh, of course, outside, uh, right across from Medicine Field. And, of course, uh, they're the hottest ticket in town. And so a lot of these sports bars, they're going to be filled to the brim. Reporting yeah. live from Anaheim, I'm Al Nipo, Fox 11 News. You've got yours, right? No, but I tell you, those are going to be doing some business in those sports bars. No question. Oh, yeah. be a fun weekend. We have more ahead on this special post-game World Series coverage. I guess this rules out making an impression. <laughs> Not finding anything new on sale? Then come to the Robinson's May birthday sale, where you'll save on retro electronics and boots of every style. Bring your extra 20% off bonus coupons. The birthday sale is going on now at Robinson's May. PlayStation 2, rated T for T. EA Games. Challenge everything. Hey, Ray, check this out. Look at that deal. Spider-Man is coming to Blockbuster, and we've got a way to bring the movie home free. Buy a 10-week rental card for just $29.99, and you'll get the hit movie Spider-Man free. Plus, you're automatically entered to win a Blockbuster exclusive, a life-size replica of the web slinger himself. And there's one winner at every store. So buy a 10-week rental card, get the movie free, and be entered for a chance to win a life-size Spider-Man replica. Only at Blockbuster. The power of GMC. Nothing from nothing beats nothing. Nothing beats the power of zero down payment. Zero payments till January 2003 and 0% financing on every new GMC. Nothing from nothing leaves nothing. You gotta have something. Get any new GMC with zero down payment. Zero payments till January 2003 and 0% financing. See the pros at your Southern California GMC truck dealers before it all ends October 31st. The birthday sale is going on now at Robinson's May. Save on merino wool sweaters and find all kinds of low prices on furnishings for your home. Don't forget your extra 20% off bonus coupons to save even more. The birthday sale is going on now at Robinson's May. Shopping for a new car? Perhaps this is the time to shop for new auto insurance as well. You can trust Mercury to offer great auto insurance coverage at lower rates than many of our competitors. But don't just take our word for it. We save $219 switching from Progressive to Mercury Insurance. I saved $1,270 by switching to Mercury Insurance. Call Mercury today at 1-888-4-MERCURY or click on TrustMercury.com. Drilled into left field. Back at the wall, off the wall. In to score is Salmon. Down to second is Gloss, and it's a 6-3 game. That was a bright spot for the Angels and their fans, but the following video may be upsetting. Here's a recap of Game 5. We pick it up in the first inning. Jared Washburn facing Barry Bonds, one out, first and second. No home run, but it is a liner to right field. Kenny Lofton scores. It's 1-0 Giants. They'd add two more in the inning. Angels hoping to get a love out of those bats. Troy Gloss in the fifth inning. Lines a shot. Going, going. Oh, it stays in. Tim Salmon scores. It's 6-3. That would cut the lead, though, to 6-4.
but in the sixth. Jeff Kent. Here's how you get one over that car. Giants take a four-run lead at 8-4. And uh, bad times for the Angels. The Giants stop Anaheim 16-4. They now lead the series three games to two. Back with more on our post-game special in just a moment. have coffee because we don't have time for a decent breakfast. Well now Yoplait's got something new that'll change that. It's called Norish, a delicious non-fat yogurt smoothie that's got the protein, vitamins, and minerals you want. With Norish for breakfast, we'll all be off to a good start. After you. No time for a meal? Norish yourself. For only two more days, AT&T Broadband is making you an incredible offer. Order a select AT&T digital cable value package and get non-stop television entertainment. Plus, we'll give you free installation and a free DVD player. AT&T Digital Cable brings you all the shows, movies, and sports you want. But call now. This offer ends soon. Call 1-866-GO-CABLE or visit us at attbroadband.com slash DVD. Get connected with AT&T Broadband. You may have noticed how CEOs aren't guaranteeing much of anything these days. Well, I've been saying I guarantee it for years. And what I mean is you're going to be satisfied with the quality, the price, the way the clothes fit and wear. I mean, I can't guarantee how other people run their businesses, but I'm pretty good at guaranteeing how we run ours. Men's Warehouse. You're going to like the way you look. I guarantee it. To contact the store nearest you, call 1-800-776-SUIT. How many reasons do you need to get into a 2003 Chrysler Town & Country or Voyager? How about zero? Because now you can get 0% financing for 60 months, which could save you up to $6,800 on Town & Country. Plus, make no monthly payments for 90 days on every Chrysler vehicle, all backed by our 770 Powertrain Limited Warranty. So get to your Chrysler dealer today. There's no reason not to. Now at your Southern California Chrysler dealer. And Browns to Kent. Fitting, he would assist on the final out. And the Giants win game five, 16 to 4. Yeah, it's finally over. Let's go back up to San Francisco and uh, listen to what the Barry Bonds has to say. You know, that, that's the key. You don't have to get hits all the time, but you do need to put the ball in play at the right opportunities to give your team a run. Okay, thank you, Barry. All right, Barry Bonds clearly happy. His team won easily 16-4. to Jennifer Gould now at Pac Bell Park. Jennifer, what's cooking? Well, Rick, obviously the Giants just proved to be invincible this evening. The bullpen, the defense, and I talked to Jared Washburn just a little while ago inside the locker room. He agreed that he did not have the right stuff this evening to pull off a win at all. He said the arms of everybody are getting tired right now. They're not used to playing uh, this long in the series, especially right now in October. They said the only thing they can do right now is concentrate on game six on Saturday. It was just like watching something that we've done. I mean, I've seen it happen once a team gets on a roll like that. That team is strong one through nine. Their bench is solid, uh, very similar to ours. So we just have to keep them at bay and hope that we're, we're the ones that go out and do it the next time. How do you mentally put a thrashing like this out of your head? Quickly? It's really not that hard with this team. Nobody panics. Nobody worries about it because the game's over. And until, uh, until getting beat like that costs you two games, uh, it doesn't really make a difference. Mm -hmm. Well, even the ball that David had, that foul ball, he thought he had it. I have no idea. It became a three-run inning. It was a long run. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, little things like that. You know, it's a tough play, but instead of being an out, you know, it, it yeah. extends the inning and uh, big things happen. So, hey, Adam, is the best way to look at this tonight is you go home, you just win one, and then you get to play for the title? <laughs> yeah. Um, 
You're gonna feel it for a little while because it was quite a whooping. But um, luckily we got tomorrow. And the Angels saying they cannot afford to panic. Of course, that would interfere with their concentration again. They say they know that game six is crucial. Otherwise, that means they are out of the series. And they are very much looking forward to going home, to bringing the World Series home for Saturday. Reporting live for now at Pac Bell Park, I'm Jennifer Gould. Rick, I'm going to send it back to you in the studio. Okay, Jennifer, let's see how they bounce back. But they'll tell you, the big league guys will tell you, it doesn't matter whether you lose by one or 12. A loss is a loss. Let's see how they bounce back on Saturday in a very important game six. John and Christine, let's send it back to you. All right. All right, Rick, thanks very much. Here's a look at what's coming up on the Fox 11 10 o'clock news tonight. We uh, feel uh, very positive about being here. We have the weapon. It is off the street. Beltway residents began to reclaim their lives after two arrests in the sniper shootings. We'll be live with a full report on the suspects and their capture. Winona Ryder shows up for her shoplifting trial, but are there enough jurors to hear the case? Years of debate and controversy are over. The landscape of a busy Southland Boulevard is changing. We'll show you the facelift at a local car wash. Angry Idol wannabes protest on the streets of New York. We'll tell you about the controversy at the latest American Idol auditions and tell you when they're coming to Los Angeles. And game six is Saturday right here on Fox 11. Our coverage gets underway with World Series countdown at 3.30. We go back now to Rick. Oh, that's right. Game six. And, and if you're wondering how game six could turn out, think about game two. You're going to have the same pitchers, Kevin Apier for the Angels, Russ Ortiz for the Giants. That's the game where the uh, Angels jumped out to a 5 nothing lead and then gave that lead away and wound up winning in dramatic fashion by a score of 11 to 10. Both teams love to play what they call little ball now, but see when they get back to Anaheim and they don't have that uh, cool weather and it's not moist out there, the ball could travel. The pitchers, you already heard them say it, they're not used to pitching this far into the season. The Angels and Giants haven't been to postseason play. I mean, the Angels have never been this far in the, in the playoffs. So their pitchers are getting tired. And the later you get in a World Series, the higher the scores tend to be because it's all hitters at that point. So Game 6 Saturday here on Fox 11. We get underway at 3.30. And then if there's a Game 7 on Sunday, we also get underway at 3.30. That's it for now. Let's check in with John and Christine.